Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, whoop at me. Testing, testing, five, six, nine. Testing, testing, I may or may not be currently possibly online. Alright, alright, good evening. Hello, hello, how you doing? How you eating? Good morning. Yeah. I do wish to sleep for 800 hours. You know, honestly, it's mood. Mood and same. Ooh, howdy now, good morning. Good morning, good morning. And hey, Lionheart of the 1982 variety, thank you for the 30 month reset. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The development on Low Fords is going on as we speak. I, you know, I, I'd like to send you the the loaves, but I there's some that are like just all over the place. I could try and zip them quickly. There's just some that are like laying around that are miscellaneous. 
Oh lord. That I've gotta shove into the Wolf Library. Consuming four years of corn. Just... Don't like corn, huh? Hey, Blue Flame Mage, thank you for the three month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Trying to think how I would handle the <laughs> the Loaf Wars. I kind of like that. Trying to think of what I would handle or what I would do for the Loaf Wars. Like, do we just have everyone throw points? Do I just have, like, the battle music based on which loaves are currently present? Oh, man. Right now, Classic Loaf is devoting his time to completion. Loaf works hard. <laughs> Clearly. Did you buy cloves for Loaf? The Loaf usually makes his own. Usually. Get it done. Get it done. Da, da. uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I did that really quick. Get it done. Your body seems to listen. So yeah, tonight, uh, I've got a bunch of assorted, associated horror games to play. All of them are pretty short. Oh man, but there's a good number of them. They're like uh, little snack-sized horror games if you haven't been here for the last time I've done this. Some of them are demos, most of them are just uh, short experiences, but they're ones that I'd like to share. Disordered a loaf plush? Yeah? Oh, do you want the game to have music? My BF makes game tracks. It was going to have victory music. Oh? I mean... Uh, sure. I was probably just going to play random things on YouTube in the background. Is it Dread X? Surprisingly, no. None of them are Dread X today. None of them are Dread X. 2,000 loaf of a million more on the way. There, there are a bunch of loaves. There are a uh, pretty good amount of them, admittedly. Nope. There we go. He's almost at 300% funded. Really? When I feel like space is going to run out of games to play tonight? Yeah, I gotta click the link. I gotta check the link. Is he really almost at 300%? I think he's at 277%. Sheesh. Yeah, uh... Uh, the person that's been handling, uh... My campaign that I've been talking with for the past, like, X amount of months, like half a year now at this point. Uh, he asked me uh, if I'd want an extension of the campaign. Apparently Loaf did so well that uh, they were willing to put Loaf up for another 14 days. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Because I had a lot of people come to me saying that it was like at a bad time or a bad time that they weren't able to do it. So, yeah, Loaf Plush is available for another two weeks. The fact they got an extension is crazy. I'm still surprised. To my knowledge, this does not push back the uh, the release date. It just gives more time for people to be able to buy them. So Loaf is still set to be released in October. There's just now more time for the Loaf. Yeah, I make 666 sell another 111 loaves. Good God. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I think he does ship a little later now. November 12th. Unless that's just because products shift every now and then. Eh. You gonna crochet clothes for him? Yeah? Will you take photos? Global loaf domination. Oh, dear. Not about sex scene, but I am a yin on the internet. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Which is also good because that gives me more time to buy one for my uh, for my mom and my grandma because they, <laughs> they want it the most and I gotta wait for uh, ooh, the ability to do so. So that's nice. That is very nice. Alright, so I have a few horror games today. Hopefully I won't run out uh, like you said. <laughs> I hope I won't run out uh, by the end of the night. I probably will. If I will, uh, I'll think of something or I'll just 
quickly dig through a bag and find more horror games. <laughs> Which is usually how this goes, I've noticed. Even though I prepare and I'll have like 12 games ready, I'll be done like three hours in, just be like, frack. Sleep, sleep, and rest up. There is the new BioRand update, which, uh, if you didn't know, they added a, uh, a bunch of new characters in the new BioRand. Oh, man. So that could be fun. That, that could be fun to do at the end if that leads to that. You can now play as, uh, oh, what is it? They added stuff to RE1 and 3, but now in 2, uh, Ben, Irons, and Marvin in the sections where you have to have them, they no longer have to be there. And you can play as, uh, Alexia Ashford, Alfred Ashford, uh, Dario, uh, David, Lot, Nemesis, Nikolai, Rachel, and Tyrell. So that's pretty neat. A lot of weird picks. The the Ashfords and fucking lot. It's pretty damn funny. Alpha better have a dedicated button. Yeah, I agree he should. Let's see. Submit Byrand for games done quick. It'd have to be a seed that I'd know, because that sounds like it'd be pretty uh, rough to have in case it gets stuck. Okay. The Alfred model is rough. Is it? I'm excited. I want to see it, though. Looks looking a lot larger than usual. Almost as big as you. Nah, I'm just a little bit smaller than usual. I'm just a little bit of a small yin today. Hey, good evening, Stormbuster. Good evening, good evening. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let me check one last thing, if you don't mind me. Oh, this is a question, seeing as, uh, seeing as you're right there, Roxy. When I send the, uh, the loaves over, uh, do you need them all, like, renamed? Like, the, uh, the files renamed to which, because some of them are just... Not all of them, but some of them are, like, named a little weird. Like, they have, like, untitled and then just a bunch of numbers or something. Yeah. Basically, eat the curd. No. Aren't you always small? No. How dare you? It's because Louv is... Your angel is sexist. Oh. Oh, boy. Compressed yeen, my favorite. Don't get used to it. Okay. Listen, the hyenas... Don't get used to compressing them. You have to eat all the curds. Eh, they're kind of gross, though. I don't want to eat a cheese curd. It's just fried cheese. I don't want it. There we go. 511 Spacey versus the 6 fold loaf. No, why would I play that again? I just beat it. You have to eat all the cheese. No, it's all well, cheese is fine, not the cheese curds though. Okay. Yellow for you and a friend though. <laughs> all right. Let me ease that out and turn that off. Let me move this. And alright, the first game I got is called Episode 666. Which is definitely on the lighter spectrum. But this is a horror game where we play as a YouTuber. Who is recording a... New video for their YouTube horror video series. Sounds like happy fun times. Oh uh, yeah! Do we need to have watched the previous 665 episodes? There will be an essay and a question here towards the end of the game, and if you get it wrong, Loaf will personally come to your house with a baseball bat. Yes. Yeah. Also, hey, wait a second. It, it, there we go. You both can chill over there. In fact, uh, Loaf is kind of small. 
That's a tiny loaf. Let me just, uh... Yeah, there we go. There we go. But you're making loaf close. Well, don't worry. He was smaller than normal. Wood or metal bat? Eh, it depends on how loaf's feeling that day. Sometimes it's too cold outside. He doesn't like holding onto it. Settings, settings, settings. No oh, man. The loaves should be named what you want their names to be. Okay, I'll go through I'll, I'll go through the loaves and double check. Gah. I'll go through and double check. Make sure. Make sure all the loaves are named accordingly. Most of them are. There's just some that just have like redacted tons of numbers in a row. What's Love's favorite game? Silent Hill 3. My ears! My ears! I lowered it hey so guys, much. Hey guys, welcome to Spirits Uncovered. I'm Scott Warren, and you won't believe it, but this is episode 666. We made it! This channel has grown from strength to strength, and it couldn't have happened without you. So thank each and every one of you from my undead heart. For longtime fans, you may remember all the way back in episode 333, when we were hunting for ghosts in the East Gate Penitentiary, I said that if we ever made it to episode 666, I would go somewhere in my past, my history, to look for spirits. Now that moment is here, it's time to show you what I had in mind. This is Siffy Cap High, my old high school, and where I had my first paranormal experience. And you know what? That is when the school was open. Since then, the school has been shut down and abandoned due to structural issues. So you know what? We need to be careful? Hell no. It means we get this whole place to ourselves. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Twitch streamer got arrested for causing chaos in New York City for a PlayStation giveaway. What? So, oh, it's one. Now, people who are wondering, what was my first paranormal experience? I'll tell you. It was, unfortunately, in the little boy's room. I had just finished doing my business when I turned around to see the terrifying sight of Mr. Ellington. No, that wasn't a teacher when I was there. Mr. Ellington was the headmaster back in the early 50s. The story goes that kids at the time picked on Mr. Ellington so bad that he took his own life in the school. Apparently, when examining his body, the morgue found a note in his mouth promising that he would haunt the school for the rest of time, making sure that the school would be shut down. Fake Adam well, Sandler. It looks like Mr. Ellington's promise pulled through. I mean, look at this place. I mean, just look now, at- oh. the boys' toilets are on the ground floor. I think we should start there, where my ghost hunting story began. No oh god. The kids picked on the principal? The kids picked on the principal. Apparently. Looks ripped out of a VR video game. Does it? Yeah, it's like a dilapidated school. Eh. Guys, to not to be charged after NYC giveaway chaos at Union Square Park. <laughs> what, basically just like an unsanctioned event and just a bunch of people showed up for it? Yeah, I can't check that box either. It feels like I should be able to, huh? But now the whole room is just boxes anyways. You need a ladder for that? That's some high up graffiti. Some like 5-5, five, five, and the school's just small. Random hole in the wall. Okay. Sure. And I love checking out uh, weird little obscure horror games like this. Uh, Portugal got banned. Damn. 
It caused a minor riot. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Here we are, the little boy's room. Luckily, I went to the toilet before I left home, as these toilets look gross. Right, I think first we should try to reach out to Mr. Ellington via our spirit box. For newcomers to the channel, the spirit box sweeps over multiple radio channels at a high speed. Spirits are able to use these channels to communicate with us, the living. Let's give it a try. Mr. Ellington, can you hear me? We are reaching out to Mr. Ellington. Please make yourself known. Mr. Ellington, do you remember me? Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate? Nothing. Fine. Maybe we are too early for the spirits in the toilet. Or maybe they just don't need to go potty right now? I have an idea. Let's place a walkie-talkie in the sink and explore the rest of the school. You never know. Maybe we'll be able to hear someone when we're not in here. Hey, Verisock, thank you very much for the 29-month resub. Thank you, thank you kindly. Stop saying its name, that pisses it off. Is that real? Is that a real thing? Okay, let's head to the second floor. There is a library up there that always felt really creepy. We can do a couple of experiments while we're in there. Don't piss in the sink. Daniel Omeo, oh, thank you very much for following as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Piss in the sink. Don't piss in the sink. Is it is this these Are these these like thoughts that you have? The forbidden thoughts that you keep sealed away? That thing of phasmophobia? I never play much of phasmophobia. Never played too much of it. I need to go upstairs now, probably. Saying a demon's name supposedly gives it power. So I've heard. Uh, sure, Caustic. This map looks really identical to Phasmophobia. Yeah, does it? Hello, heathens. Okay, here's an idea. Now, I was going to say something, but the YouTuber made me forget. The light cam at the top of the stairs here. If anything comes up, the light will go off and a picture will be taken, which will be sent directly to my phone. Cool, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. The whole he's got to be on YouTube, so he's got to have child friendly, friendly dialogue. He can't say fuck. Are you good? Okay. Child-friendly dialogue. You can't say a swear word in the first minute. Or else you'll get uh, demonetized. You can't say darn. The library. Yeah, kids, this is where children used to actually read books. Spooky. This library really reminds me of that opening scene in the Ghostbusters movie. God, I hate it being in here. So, what shall we do? How about we use our EMF detector? Again, newcomers, this device detects the electromagnetic fields, which spirits are said to be made up of. Now, this building has been closed for a while now, so we won't have any interference from any electronics. So, if I get a reading, it truly could be a spirit in close proximity. Yeah, hey, you could probably take off? all these bu- Whoa, uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's try and communicate. I thought it said kill a meter. You seem to be setting off my device here. Did you know that? Whoa, guys, it's working. Okay, now you know how this works. How about you make our device spike once for no and twice for yes? Do you understand? Okay, what shall we ask? That was like four times. Spirit, should the viewers of this episode like and subscribe? <laughs> Only joking. You don't have to answer that. Spirit, is your name Mr. Ellington? Isn't the ghost from the 50s? No response. I think I scared it away. Serves me right for joking around. The 
Uh, I think someone may be using the toilet. I guess we'll go back down. Why would you ask a ghost from the 50s if it would like to like and subscribe? They probably don't know what the fuck that is. I'd kill you too. The ghost stitched him for that shitty like and subscribe. Yeah, imagine like... I don't know, you're like a murder victim from like the 1920s or something. And you're sobbing alone inside a school and some Logan Paul looking motherfucker comes in with an EMP thing going, Yo, my homies, like and subscribe. Like, you know, I'd, I'd probably kill him too. Oh, finally, somebody can tell the story of how I was murdered that horrible day. Nah. Nah, he once put me on a t-shirt. Hi, cuz! Good evening. Good evening, good evening. How you- uh, What? Is someone there? Oh, that was oh, the camera thing, right. That? It looks pissed. Okay, okay. Let's head down to the toilets again and see what's happening with the radio. Yes, yes, down the creepy stairs. <gasps> under sight. Uh, under night in birth, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard that was coming out. I heard about that. Ignore it. Wow. It's a person. You say something about them pissing up here? No, personally, I don't fuck with ghosts. You know, I'd rather, you know, not challenge it, but... What? Where's the radio? What's going on with that radio? Hey, is that how you want to play, Spirit? I'll play your game. Me as a ghost listening to someone. So I'm an influencer. <laughs> Death! Just instantly press the kill switch. God. Hello? Cold? A uh, weird zoom thing. Cold. Yeah, he's saying cold. Hmm. Are you playing hot or cold? Oh, probably. Probably. Kind of looks like cool spot, Blazaga. Anyways, I hope your stream went really well, cause. Oh, there's another floor up here. I didn't think to go up. Oh. Never mind. Hmm. Ah. This episode brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. They send me like things like three times a month. I hope you know this. Cold. Like three times a month I get messaged by Raid Shadow Legends. Slowly starting to lose my mind. Hmm. The space do it for the funny raid shadow legend skeleton. Skeleton? Skeleton. The fuck? They have a skeleton? Uh, oh, done. Tattoo Raid Shadow Legends on the 3D VTuber butt. Rather have it on a shirt. No fucking joke, there's a fucking skeleton in several Raid Shadow League ads where he's played as a joke. Huh. 
It's not actually free money. No, it is. No, it is. Do you know how the Raid Shadow Legends contracts work? They send it to you and they say like, Hey, you can earn up to this and here's the baseline. They will send you money just for advertising them. But the thing is, they want to promote everyone downloading and getting to a certain point in the game to try and get its hooks into people. And that's where I'm just kind of... Eh. But no, I get offered three times a month. I could probably make like a collage. Like like one of those like uh kidnapper or whatever the hell you call it when they, when they get the, like the the newspaper clipping notes. I could probably do that out of Raid Shadow Legends emails at this point. So much money we talk like enough to sell my dignity. It's different each time. I've noticed that it keeps going up. <laughs> I, I've noticed that it keeps going up. No oh, man, I should get a. I should put Raid Shadow Legends on my booty shorts, on the fucking 3D model. You are right. I still actually that still reminds me. Seeing as red, that reminds me of the damn uh, image of the fucking Thanos rings, but they're all the th <laughs> the what do you call them? The goddamn uh, they're not called partnerships. What are they called? Oh god, I remember that. I still have that image. Like, front and center of my folders. What the hell am I supposed to do here now? Ghosty, ghosty, warm and toasty, the one whom I love the mosty. Please come beat my ass. Sponsorships, thank you. Michigan, I want to say goodnight. Oh, it is going well. It is going well, and by that I mean it's only been about 30 minutes and I've just started, but I am in hell. Uh, I am very bad at finding somebody who wants to kill me in this school, apparently. It's back here? Is that it? Hello? 30 minutes of yeaning. Would I go ghost hunting? No! Absolutely not. Hell no. No, I, abs I absolutely believe in ghosts. I'm not fucking with that. Ghosts and spirits? Yeah, no thanks. What if I was there to hold your hand? Well, one, I'd be very flattered. But two, uh, no, because you ain't dying either. No, no, my gr my grandma put the fear of God in me when it comes to ghosts and shit. No, I'm I'm good. I don't want to I don't want to insult any spirits. When someone tells you a place will be haunted, it's probably haunted. Hey, Coyote Bryn Riley, thank you for the 16 month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that grandma. Mr. Smith and Mr. Weston with me. I don't think you can shoot a ghost. I don't think I don't think you can shoot a ghost red. A very early prototype in the in the work in progress art. I am very painfully <laughs> Are those the RuneScape splashes? Is this for is for loaf wars. Oh god. Hold on. I I have to, I I I got to show this. It's in low far. I got to show this. God. Oh, I got to resize this. Hold on. <laughs> loaf wars. Good god. Hey, good night, guys. Have a very good night, snooze. God, the attack speeds. <laughs> Loaf on loaf violence. Loaf, uh, default loaf is, uh, apparently pulling the weight for, uh, the upcoming loaf wars. Good god. What do I think of the attack loaf above it? I, I just saw it. I j that's, a that's actually a good image for the loaf, the loaf fighting game. <laughs> God, I, I want to play more Baldur's Gate so bad, you have no idea. I want to play more Baldur's Gate. I'm having so much fun with the game. I'll have you know, I was a paladin for one hour and I fucked it up and I broke my oath. <laughs> I, I fucked it up 
in one goddamn hour. I do not know how I managed that. What did I do? It's a quest very early on where one of your companions is being held by two tieflings. I failed every goddamn skill check to free them. And my only other option was to kill the tieflings at the end. And then I, and then I got the whole, like, your oath has been shattered. And it's... I got this fucking scene... And it's so funny because my character looks like, oh no. And the Hysterion and Gale look scared shitless. It's such a good looking scene. Their fucking faces are so good. They're all just scared shitless over this. It's so funny. And it's menacing. This like guy show was like, you have broken your oath, Paladin. And there's actually, like, then you get, like, two, like, kind of semi-quest lines for that. Asterion is hard to please. Asterion hates me. Asterion absolutely hates me. <laughs> the fact that the rogue is scared. I didn't know Asterion could make that face. It, it, it had me cracking up. It had me cracking up. No, uh, the, the, if you break your oath as a paladin, by the way, that guy then shows up at your camp and you can talk to him and he'll offer you to become an oath breaker, but you can also deny it and say that you want to find a way of restoring your own oath with your own, uh, like, I, I don't want any of your, any of your pity power. I'm going to try and find a way to make, make my oath restore it, but you have to play as a powerless paladin <laughs> until you figure it out. <laughs> But, I don't know, I think that's pretty neat. But yeah, you lose your, uh, your powers to channel divinity. What the fuck is this? What? That was close. I'm starting to think we shouldn't be here. Okay, I'm brave. I'm brave. Yeah, let's try the spirit box again. See if we can speak Who am I going to romance? The only one uh, so far who's available is Shadowheart. Do you have a message for me? No, oh. oh, guys. This one is too scary for me. We, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here, guys. Yeah, Shadowheart really likes me, for the record. Uh, Asterion hates my guts. Uh, Gale likes me. I haven't taken Will yet. But what if I go this way? Two birds on a wire. One tries to fly, and the other... Hmm. Menacing music, slightly. Hey, the Eagle Beagle. That's a cute name. Thank you for the raid. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Blaze is military evil, Asterion is gremlin evil. Yeah, they both seemed evil. Oh my. Come on. Oh shit. <laughs> but if he died, how did he upload the video? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> Very cheesy looking ghost at the end, just kind of running hunched over like a goblin. The hecky is this. Uh, this is called uh, episode 666. It's very silly. <laughs> the monster uploaded it. Yeah, okay. It, it, it's like all those like creepy pastas where it's like, it was like one time I bought a Tails doll. And it, it ends with everyone dying, but like. Okay, then who uploaded this? <laughs> Did... Who the fuck uploaded this if you died? I don't under... Look, I had to kill those guys. Okay, they stole my zebra cakes. Listen. And no, I'm not playing as Dokar because I'm saving Dokar. No, I'm, I'm saving Dokar for something, uh, for another playthrough. Okay, that one was short. That one was cheesy. Okay, so next one I've got is a, uh, is a Steam game that is a collection of games. 
called Unsorted Horror, and I've been meaning to play this for a hot second now, about a week or so. The Invisible Man is outside. How'd you see them then, asshole? <laughs> Maybe they heard them, or like, smelled them or something. They've been doing for marriage. The, uh oh? With my eyes down. One day I bought a loaf plush from a serious old man. Oh, I know it'd be haunted. <laughs> God. The haunted loaf plush story. Uh. Oh, I use was for this? Excuse me? Okay. Alright, sure. Unsorted Horror is a collection of experimental first-person horror games. Most of them are very short and are designed to be played through in one sitting. They do not feature save mechanics. Longer tiles that feature save mechanics will be marked with a disc icon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just a bunch of short horror games. That's, that's the theme for the night. Oh my. Out there, there is death. Out there is nothing. The other side. Control room alpha. Carbon steel. Concrete tremor. Tartarus engine. All right. Play CD. Toggle inspect. <gasps> oh, cute. A puzzle horror game where you secretly drill through a reinforced metal wall using a janky drill. You have to repair and maintain the drill throughout the process using tools and other piece of equipment to pinpoint and fix the issues that occur. Ah. Cute. The game will open in a new instance. No, I hate when games do that. It's gonna open. I gotta re. That means I gotta recapture it. Ah, I'm such a crybaby. I gotta recapture in a new window. Ah, hold on. Two birds on a wire. One tries to whoop, and the other. The other side. We finished the YouTube thing that was short. Oh yeah. Like I said, these are going to be short today. Short horror games. Shelter number one, official civil guidelines. I don't think those are birds then, Spacey. Birds don't whoop. Oh yeah, then explain the whooping birds uh, on all fours that are outside on the power lines. Huh? You do not talk about going outside. You do not think about going outside. This place keeps us safe from the dangers of the outside. Out there is death, out there is nothing. I believed that once. Until an explosion unfolded on the surface level. The crowd that gathered there, they all saw. And nobody was surprised when they were missing the next day. They keep people in a metal box, one must show power. But they forgot one person. And I saw, alright. It's time to leave. Hey, Shinigami Wolf! Oh boy. Hiding in a metal ass fallout basement, huh? Interact, left click, and E. Drop items, Q, options, escape. Everything I need to start drilling is here. To get started, I should use the computer. Uh-huh. <coughs> Pardon me. Insert drill into casing for diagnostics report. Casing, huh?
Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. I mean, I don't see why not. If you want to play them, go ahead. Bolts, oil, coolant, battery, battery charge, drill bit function, drill bit secure. Cozy, I am. Already, drill bit function. Uh. Oh. Um. Something I gotta do with the top of it, maybe to dislodge it? It'd say it's a janky ass drill. Uh. Problem is the drill bit. How do I get it out? Hey, Galxel. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't know what I thought that would do. Uh. Beat it with a hammer. Oh wait, the top. Ah, that's what I thought. Wait. Wait, no, yeah. Shit. Okay, what's this game? We're trying to escape with a drill. It's pretty interdacing so far. Oh, my, my ear itches. Cool. Let's undo the latch. Pick up the drill. Slide it back on in. Okay. Basie is bad with tools. What? Why would you think that? I'm alright with tools. Just bad with remembering names. Battery charger. Oh, here I go again. Who you calling Pinhead? Okay. It's pretty chill for a horror game. Gah. Man, I always want to play more Payday. Hopefully Payday 3, I'll be able to finally get a fresh start. 
and be able to like play at the same time as people instead of joining a lobby and everyone being prestige 200 or some shit. Okay. Bep. Bep. What game is this? Untold, uh... Actually, no. Unsorted Horror. No, this is not House Flipper. Hey, Zanadeus, thank you for the 34 month resum. To you too. Okay. Like, two seconds? This drill sucks. I know janky ass was right, but like, this thing like really sucks. Just now gave me these diagnostic reports after being active for like five seconds. He's going to say untold stories, wasn't he? Don't tell anybody. Oil level, coolant level. Okay. Long arms. Hmm. Looks like there's screws in the top. Wow. Wow. Nope, stop it. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of relaxing. This isn't a scary game. I feel cozy. You should buy a new drill? Probably. Oh, you know what? I'll use the funds from the loaf plush to buy a giant drill. Send a key to start drilling layer two. Reminder, there is no coming back. Yeah, all right. Nosferatu, is that you again? No oh, shit. <laughs> all right. Cool premise. I like this. Ah. Yeah, the first layer was just teach you how to play the game. The mall cops cheese it. Off it goes. It's kind of a bop. Oh, 
Oh, yep. Oil level, coolant level. All right. Get that screwdriver. Oh, come on. There we go. Screw that back down shut. Accidentally delete the screwdriver. Do 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 Okay. Hey, Osiris Orca. Good evening. I got plenty of time. I have less time. Was the drill bit as well? It was. All right. Let's go. This device is a piece of shit. I didn't hit the charge. Let me do that. skin off my nose. Good. You know, minus the fact that this might kill me if I fuck it up. One minute! See that yin? Watch him scream. He is the dancing yin. Security may arrive, but they still have to break down my door. <laughs> wow. It's so green. Finally, I can touch grass. <laughs> I escaped the League of Legends facility. No more Fizz Mid for me. This place isn't what it looked. The rest of the note is unintelligible. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is the Dota facility! Oh! Please, no! Please! Ah! <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Giant spider beholder incoming, I love it. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cute. I liked it. They were keeping you in for a reason. Uh... Oh man, that's pretty cool. I like that. I enjoyed it. That was fun. Finally, escape from League of Legends into Dota. There is no escape from MOBA hell. No escape. Grass is always greener. In this sense, it's more of a literal than an actual. It's more of like a literal, but also hell demon. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. I liked it. That was cute. Oh, right. This game will open in a new window. Uh.
All right, next one is Control Room Alpha. Does that make Smite MOBA purgatory? Smite is... I don't know what the fuck Smite is. I don't know. It's got, like, Nickelodeon shit. Control Room Alpha 2022, Mike Club Nika. It's your first day on the job as a crane operator. In a dodgy underground science facility, your supervisor will show you the ropes. Oh, and by the way, hope you didn't lie on your resume regarding the fact that you're not scared of spiders. I really like this music for this tile screen. I kind of want to steal it later. <laughs> I kind of really like it. Oh, man. Game will open in a new instance. Yeah, I'm waiting. Oh, man. Let me move this over. Ah, uh, kinda looks like that. Eh. Press space. I'd press myself, but I'm too afraid. Imagine seeing- are you arachnophobic on a job application? Yeah, like you're going for like, a bakery. Like, you're going in for, like, a bakery submission, and at the bottom, after knowing, asking, like, Do you know how to beat eggs? It just says, are you afraid of spiders? Control room alpha, do you copy? Control room alpha, do you copy? Don't do that, I'll scream range. The spiders are bait, there's gonna be something worse, like yeens. It's just a hyena that works there, but he's got a big spider suit on him because it makes him feel comfortable. He wears it uh, so people uh, don't bother him while he's at work. Uh. Yeah! Uh -huh. My name is Constantine, and I will be your supervisor for this shift. Constantine is such a hot name. And then you can get down to business. Okay. Standing by. Uh Oh boy! Hey, Flare the Rage Gamer! Thank you for the raid! Good evening! Okay. Oh? But hey, thank you very much, Flare. Hope your stream went very well. I totally went brain dead and forgot what he asked me to do. Gotta reach into the hole for a sample. Oh, there we go. Reach the hole and you get a loaf. Oh! So do the spiders just like poop out the egg or... Oh! 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 Oh. There we go. Well done. Now, I will remind you to be very careful with handling these 
Yeah? Each one is worth over one million Vietnamese dollars. Damn. Uh, it, eh. I'm here, I'm no longer distracted by dinner of Baldur's Gate. Yeah? Oh shit. Got it. That was rude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. This is not your fault. The crane seems to be broken. I'm afraid mission control will not be happy about this. So, just go down there and put the sample into the case yourself. Don't worry about the thing, comrade. Most of the creatures that came out of that nest are harmless. Go pick up the sample. Standing by. The fuck you mean most? I... I can't read this. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going. Ask spiders means they <laughs> no. Never mind, brain. You can hear them clicking and clacking. The hole's a lot bigger than I thought. As long as they don't grab me, that's fine. Spiders have big asses. Spiders already have big asses. Did like getting a case of throat spiders? My brain went to ZT flies, but it's spiders for your ass. Okay. Good job, comrade. But I go. But I'm Russian. What? <laughs> ah, it's a spider. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Up there's the spacey. No, I'm good. Yeah, that one was fun. I'm interested in the orb. I'm kind of sad it ended, but I guess that's the whole point of, like, weird cosmic horror. Okay. That was weird. I likey. I likey it. But da 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 Let me change this over to the thing. Back to unsorted horror. You just threw my toast. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't just give us a weird orb out of normal and end it. It paid one million Vietnamese dong each for those. I don't know how that much it is actually worth. One million Vietnamese dong to USD. $42. This shop fucking sucks. Carbon steel. Carbon steel is an experimental puzzle horror game where you conduct unethical research in an underground laboratory. Work out how to operate miscellaneous machines, cross check data tables, and procure general anesthesia. The difference between life and death can be any overlooked detail. I'm going deaf. Very slightly. But it's alright. <clears throat> also, uh, really quick, I actually gotta use the washroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be back in uh, just a moment or two. If you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, Loaf or Plush Loaf over there. They'll be able to fulfill anything that you uh, may be curious about. I will BRB if you don't mind me.
Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm back. Me and my six million polygons are here. What's up? You know, I totally forgot to make the, uh... <laughs> I forgot to make the I'm going, I'm going live message on Twitter. Oops! I've done that twice this week now. Let me just, um... <laughs> Heard you're working your way to seven million. That might be too much. Oh, let me, let me fix this before I forget. Oops. What's Twitter? You should try X. You should X these. Right. Do 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 Okay. Let me do this. Unsorted horror. Don't dignify it. <laughs> oh, I'd have had an interesting time so far. I'd imagine it. Almost nobody with a brain still wants to call that place X. That's probably the worst renaming I've seen in, like, a while. It's almost as bad as the Sierra Mist. Did you hear about the Sierra Mist thing, by the way? Sierra Mist rebranded themselves. No. Okay, so Sierra Mist... Uh, rebranded themselves to a, uh, to a drink called Starry. And the reason why they did that, if, if you've been seeing, like, a, a drink called Starry on shelves, that's Sierra Mist. The reason why they did that was, um, there was a OnlyFans account getting really popular, uh, and her name was Sierra Mist. And she, uh, got really, really popular. So much so that looking up Sierra Miss would get this woman's OnlyFans. And, you know, you'd just be seeing, like, you know, ass and tits relentlessly. So they're like, fuck, what do we do? Her ass is becoming more popular than our drinks. So they renamed it to Starry. <laughs> and I think it's actually been killing it. <laughs> I think, I think... Uh, Starry has been dying because nobody knows that Sierra missed. So, uh, yeah, she's kind of been unintentionally killing Sierra Mist. So, what I'm saying is if we want to throw overthrow corporations, you need to start shaking your ass and calling yourself Pepsi or something. <laughs> That's how we take them down. <laughs> Time to make an OnlyFans named Starry. <laughs> I'm not calling myself X. <laughs> I am now 7-Up. <laughs> I'm Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Fuck, that's what I gotta do when I get older in age. When I start graying, that's what I'll call myself. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping things. Oh, man. The name of something that has been well known for a year kills recognition and consumption of it. Who could have possibly guessed? <laughs> Imagine changing the name and the logo or everything, removing everything and all of its identity, and then being surprised when people like it less. That couldn't be me. So I have this new persona to advertise. <laughs> Carbon sealed by Mike Klubnika. Damn marketing ploy. <laughs> God. I've come to announce I am now an elephant. 
You want corporations to become people? People should become corporations. That's how we stop them. Hello. Like, oh, it's on Wazd. And you call yourself Elon Musk? Yeah, but it's gotta be furry fetish related. Shuttle four. Passport. Shuttle eight. You. Elon Musky Husky. Papers, please. No, I haven't played that game yet. I'm afraid to. I can only handle immigration once. You want me to do it again? Fine. Oh. Yeah. Shuttle one. Okay. Oh, my thumb hurts. Miss an hour of a spacey stream, it's all over. I'm sorry, I forgot to announce on Twitter. I'm sorry. Hey, to be fair, I'm voicing the albatross. A and some of those were just one-offs for fun. And one of those is a D&D &D character. Listen. Do you have any tips on how to make your arms not incredibly sore? I like to soak them in water, typically. That usually helps me. Oh. Yes, voicing a big buff bird. Head out for the night, have fun. Hey, have a good night, Colin. Have a very good snooze. Hello? This Black Mesa ass. I do not have a Rado. Okay. Can't throw myself off the thing. Whoa! Oh. Damn. Red made you one. That's just because it was a chocobo, but it looked more like a Rito, so Red redrew it. You don't have a Dorito? I, I... I mean, I like Doritos, but not often. This place sucks. Look, I'm swaying down the hall like a greaser. Here's one. Thank you! I appreciate that. I'll have to see when it happens. Spacey, my Baldur's Gate crashed when I stabbed a suspicious crow. Why would you stab a crow? What did it do to you? What did the wop, 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 wop do to you? Hey, did you know that if you're playing as a wizard, when you summon your, uh, your, uh, animal companions, your, uh, your, your... The fuck are they called? Oh, you said cow. Oh, cow. Familiar. When you summon your familiar, they have their own names. I've only summoned the Raven so far, but his name is Quoth. But why would you stab the cow? I don't think this is OSHA safe. The click sounds make me... Sorry! Greetings from the research team. You'll be carrying out the main sample pool from the pit, which hosts a multitude of pressure-treated organisms. After the pool is successfully completed, you'll hand the data over to the team. As we discussed, this job will take a total of three days. We're still in the middle of setting up some of the equipment. Please enter your holding cell. Delta Husky, hey, thank you for the raid. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Come with me and you'll be in a world of OSHA violations. Been good, brother, yourself? Hey, been doing well. Been doing very well. 
Ah, feels good to be partially deaf in an ear. <laughs> hey, Chad. Good evening. How you doing? Also, thank you for the 35-month resub. Thank you for the 35-month tier 3 resub. I am doing fracking amazing. How you doing? Oh, I sleep. I sleep, I sleep. Oh. What's that? Was that blue sky? I say as I'm trapped in fucking X. Hey. What's up? You know what? I accept that idea, Gamer Tech Jump. No life from detected controls unlocked. Hold main lever to initiate ascent. You know, I actually did make I did actually have a zebra character made. Uh for when I, for when I did uh when I was when I was planning to do but it didn't it didn't go through, I need to do it another day. When I wanted to do a uh, fundraiser for the EDS Association. I'd like to get like an actual PNG tuber of it at some point. You got the code? How dare you, first of all. Second of all, how dare you. Third of all, I'm gonna sit on you. No life form detected, controls unlocked. Hold main lever to initiate ascent. Does that do? Okay. Oh, oh. Ooh. Bluetooth toothbrushes? No, but I'm not surprised. Uh, you know... <laughs> Honestly, Blue Sky's only just okay. I have to see if it actually winds up being good. It's not God's gift to man or anything right now. Just, just kind of okay. Second one. Good morning, we're ready to begin. Raise the life form vessel with the main control lever will automatically surface. You'll find blank data cells in the canister rack off empty anesthesia canisters. The life form must be unconscious for the duration of the data pull. Procure the correct mixture using the subclass weight data tables. Please begin, we're eager to get started. Subclass weight data tables. Origin Death Charlie. We have anything to do with those, right? What does this do again? <gasps> uh oh! Uh oh! Uh. Way to weigh this, maybe? Uh, it's a lot of buttons going on. I'll figure this out. noise Eyes blue sky, call it triangle. Fuck. Uh. 
In here? Uh huh. Satan, can you stop ripping ass outside of my windows? Huh? Okay. Using the wrong capsule. Oh, oh, oh! Something's happening! Ah! Uh, computer. Okay. Uh, nitrous oxides, fluorophane. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Um... Ah... Uh. Okay... What?! Okay... Okay. Hold the main lever to initialize ascent. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. Class Charlie origin death negative one two two seven. So I gotta find the right amount of something to put in. Okay. Um. Dado day? Charlie day? Wait, Charlie. Huh? Oh. Oh! Oh! Okay. I have an April Fool's channel. Um, okay. So the weight is... 93. So, 6, 2? Two. 6 nitrous, 2 ISO? Uh-huh. Okay. Shit. Oh! The rest is just this? Wait, how much does have a fluorine? Does it matter? 92? Alright. Okay. Uh. Oh, please don't eat my ass, spirits.
Okay. Hmm. Alpha subclass. Okay. Red means alpha, it always does. Subclass. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, subclass SC3, weight 145. One forty five, forty five, forty five, ten. Okay. Let's do this. Forty five, forty five. Ten. Please be right. It seems to be correct. Okay. All right. Please, no more critical meltdown. I'm gonna hide behind my computer this time. <gasps> Ooh! Not dead! Hell yeah, what does that do? Okay. Okay. Uh. Do another one. Uh. Hey, dead guy. Good evening. Forty-five, forty-five, ten. Okay. Ten. Lobotomy Corp about the cognition filter sucks. Okay. Are you just saying that? What does that do? The orb. Okay. I guess uh, back to sleep I go. So I just have a literal shithole. This seems like a uh, like an awful job. Can I clean that? Is that blood? I have an infection.
I'm gonna stretch. Oh yeah. Let me just uh, inhale liquid. Sorry, just cracking my back. Ugh. Sleeping right next to the shithole. Tis the life. Just uh, grabbing liquid, stretching. Be a 3J! Ugh. It felt like a good stretch. I'd like to put in my submission for being the English VA for Keiichi Maibara. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, all right. Da 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 da. Hey, cuss not available. That's fucking scary. I don't know what this machine even does. Oh god. I got a disc. I don't know what I just did, but it's mine now. Read carefully the contents of the stisk will be erased once ejected. We haven't met yet, but I'm the engineer. I overheard a conversation from the researchers. You're in trouble. I'm working on getting you out. I've taken one of the data cells. You'll find it tomorrow marked with an X. Give it to the researchers once you've done. I won't hang around for long. It's said that tomorrow we'll never see you soon. One of the cells marked with an X. Okay. Your work yesterday was excellent. The data you pulled far exceed our expectations, especially considering the fact that this laboratory hasn't been in use for decades. The engineer has finished setting up the old surface analyzer. You could use it to pinpoint exact data, class measurements from otherwise unknown life forms. This aid will help us in gathering even better data. If your work continues at this pace, then we'll have big plans for you. Okay. Damn, is it really though? Okay, sure. Eject. Character the voice in a VN. Oh. Delta Day, Charlie Day. Beta Day, Alpha Day. Okay, well, I don't know what this is, so... Hmm. Let's see what happens. Well, how am I supposed to know now? Huh. Uh. What? Oh, ooh. What does this do? Okay. Oh. Potential life from class. Yo. Yo. really cool 
Jigglopes have different stats, so it's not just arbitrary choosing. I was thinking a 1 to 3 star rating for HP, power, and speed. Would you be able to do such a thing? Okay. Absolutely. Ah! Well, shoot, all right. Delta SC3. Are you talking about Higurashi Golden? Uh, the Golden Edition that never came out? Hmm. Should they have three or should they have five stars based on how many loaves there are now I think about it? Is that too much? I see. Wait, 140. 20, 45, 35. Oh. I said 20, 35, 45, right? Damn it. 20. 45. 35. Oh, wait. 20, 45, Okay. How many loaves are there? Uh, probably near a hundred. There's probably near a hundred loaves. There's a uh, there's a good amount, considering the baguettes as well. Only hundred? There's a lot. Okay, that's also counting floating 3D polygonal loaf and rotating loaf plush. Or lo I kind of want to call them live action loaf. Okay, FMV loaf. <laughs> According to makeshift plus the two loaves on screen, there are at least 558 loaves. Oh. Was this tilted? You can't even give me like a poster or something. What are you playing at plotting? I'm playing a, a collection of games called Unsorted Horror, which is really interesting. And uh, I am currently plotting not much, to be honest. Okay. One hundred fifteen. Class N A subclass N A. Time to shoot this thing into the void again. Oh. Where's the void? Vessel completion one hundred percent. Fabricator charge level. Okay.
<laughs> Exceptionally violent. Use the fabricator to repair everything. What? 115. Oh. Uh. What, what do I? Okay. Oh, wow, all right. Fantastic. Charlie, SC2. Hey! Okay. It is not happy. Clearly, no. Blue is always Charlie. I lied. There you go. 115. Um, what was it? 115 SC2. 241066. But I need the right. Something with an X? Unless they mean the other one. <gasps> ah, okay. No, you don't! Okay. Uh, 241066. Shit, why, why did it go up? There we go. There you go. Never played Voices of the Void, no. It does sound like a sick beat, even though it's trying to come in and kill me. Some real Subnautica vibes there, gotta be honest. Like, yeah, my vessel's on fire, but this is amazing. Is it good? Is it fine? Is it gonna calm down? All right. They said they used the one marked with an X. Okay. Did it explode? Am I free? I am. Hell yeah. Gonna make classic loaf all four stars, classic baguette all three stars. <laughs> Powerful energy. Speaking of Subnautica, what's my favorite Leviathan? Ghost Leviathan because it's gorgeous. Besides that, Reef back.
I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboards. Okay. That was cool. That was really cool. I like that. I'm curious. I'm, I'm really curious about that. Was that just a normal work week? Am I escaping? I assume I'm escaping. It's pretty cool though. Another evening I'll be seated reading in between your law lines. Because I miss you all the time. So, get away. Another way to feel that you didn't want yourself to know and let yourself go. You know you didn't lose your self-control Oh, let's start at the rainbow She has such a high voice Alright, that was cool, I like that I like that, that was neat Also, I really like the music of this game Roxy updated the low fighting in the art channel Oh? Oh my god. Oh my god, it <laughs> The loaf updated. Hold on, let me... You know, I always mislabel my image sources. I really need to, uh... I really need to stop that. Oh. Oh, I think my... GIF broke. Ah. Oh, it totally did. You need to name them better? Uh, yeah. You better name his games. I just need to clean my thing. I'm sorry. Also, it really doesn't like showing this GIF. It will not show this GIF on screen. It's in the Discord. <laughs> it, it does not like showing this GIF. Like, at all. Just need various things for the loafs to throw at each other. <laughs> throw zebra cakes, god. Would that damage the loaves, though? Throwing zebra cakes. No, oh, god, let me... Change this. Switch back to that. There we go. Throw bread. <laughs> Zebra cake is definitely a healing item. Yeah, this was cool. I like that. <clears throat> this one might be my favorite of them so far. I like this one a lot. Concrete Tremor. Hey, we go. Also, the little... I, I wish I could show up, but the little effect when they run out of HP. It's really funny, actually. Oh, man. So, gameplay of Baldur's Gate 3 and Sasa Means, all I'll say. Oh, I've been playing all the, uh, the closed, uh... The closed, like, beta alpha stuff. I've seen the Yeens. I have talked with the Yeens. Concrete Tremors, a short experimental puzzle horror game about plastic explosives in Soviet apartments where the story is sold from multiple perspectives. Original soundtrack by Jabu, a length of roughly 10 minutes, one and only ending. For the loaf, uh, for the loaf tournament, should we have loser's bracket? Soundtrack is available on Bandcamp now. Hmm. The 40 box move? No. Hell yeah, loser's baguette. No, there are no losers. The loser's bracket is so you can come back, so you can be the comeback kid. Also, I've noticed a lot of tournaments usually have a loser's bracket final, just like kick open the doors at the end. Oh god. Come back for revenge. All right, Concrete Tremor. This is completely free on Steam, by the way, this collection of games. Apparently the man decided to stack 40 boxes to get over a wall. 
I stacked my entire party on their shoulders so we could see what the rogue was doing. I'm also surprised they even went with it. Hmm. Hey! Good evening! I'm starving. I was about to say, am I playing as John? Check the roof. Hmm. Hey, die the gun and thank you for following. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome to the Null Patrol. What is the little fighting for? Does the winner get to be on stream with you, Yin? Maybe I should put a gold star sticker on them. Hmm. I didn't think about that. What do the loaves get if they win? Hmm. The golden zebra cake. They get a special winner hat. They get added to the first tournament winners. Maybe I'll keep like a chart for each loaf tournament. Don't you already have a golden experience loaf? There is a there is a Giorno loaf. There's a Giorno, a Josuke, and a Jotaro loaf. Loaf nepotism, loafatism. How about a belt with a zebra cake on it? You get a RuneScape crown. Two of them are stuff. This one and this one. The one with the. <laughs> The second one is, be <laughs> is because I stepped on a ketchup packet and my mic was still hot and... <laughs> it's ketchup. Your party survived again despite the odds. That's good. That's very good to hear. Uh, every, everyone got to hear my genuine reaction to something bad happening. <laughs> oh, God. It looks like kisses. Oh, like little lipstick? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, man. Have I been enjoying Baldur's Gate? Oh, God, yes. There's a clip of it somewhere, but yeah, I stepped on a ketchup. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Whatever you say. Oh! Elecator. Two yeans on a wire. One tries to yin and the other. Much, much. Oh shit. Oh, 
Okay. I see. Wait, so that doesn't work? Oh, 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 wait. Huh? A would be this, right? A... A... A1? Rate the love stats and zebra cakes. <laughs> That'd be really cute. Uh, yeah, I know what. Yeah, I pressed the check mark button. That's why it's giving me that message. Um, ten A. Uh... Well, those are my buildings. Oh, then what the fuck did I just hit? I get a phone call. Okay. Use my debit card that I bought that I bought a little plushie online. Oh, those are people dying. I hey, thank you for the hundred and ten bits, Dark. What am I doing? Uh... Okay. Uh, I got a phone call. Okay. Ha 
Shit. Oh, oops. Oh, oops. I know I got the tip for H4, but I'm like, I'm seeing if I don't kill them, you know? Trying not to kill them. Plus, I get more phone calls if I miss. Okay. Oh, if you miss five, they get a call. Huh. Okay, that was cute. Yeah, yeah, very natural response. Uh, my God, again, do not introduce these people to League. Uh, oh, good Lord. Okay, that was cute. I like that. That was neat. Game said one ending. The game did say one ending. Game said one ending. You take the gun, you, 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 eat, you eat some lead. Oh, and the game closed. I, I, <laughs> I can't stand games that do that. All right, I'll just uh, switch over. There we go. Oh, your tenants die. What else can you do? I get new ones. Tartarus engine. Hello, hello, Mr. Yan and Yim. Hello, Milo. 
Tartar Ascension is a short horror game about a monumental computer designed for imitating internal torments. <laughs> you play as a technician in a group of people that set out to tap into a vulnerability in the machine. You know, sometimes I think like... You know, I could have been normal. I could have been like somebody who really likes platformers or like Far Cry or something. You know how awkward it is when someone's like... It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, like, at my work, like, oh, man, I buy every version of FIFA. I just got, like, you know, the new Call of Duty. It's like, oh, what kind of games do you play? Uh, simulators about eternal torment? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was definitely, I had, I had my old boss. He was really big. He was, like, really big. He had, like, these huge dreads. The man was, like, massive, like, twice my size. He was really friendly. And he would, he would always go on about the kind of games he plays. Like, oh yeah, I absolutely love Call of Duty. It's like my favorite. And whenever he asks me what kind of games I play, I, on occasion, be like, oh yeah, I play like, you know, like Silent Hill. And, and stuff is like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's a, it's a game about like, guy finding his dead wife. I don't know. It always felt like whenever I, whenever I was talking about him, it was just like, in one ear, out the other, like, uh, it was very awkward talking about the games I like. <laughs> he sounds hot. He was. He's also straight. <laughs> it's a game about a cult and a single man's eternal torment. Oh boy! <laughs> Unfortunate. Nah. <laughs> At last, we've created the Tartarus engine from the classic sci-fi horror game. Don't build the Tartarus engine. <laughs> nah, man. Damn hot straight men. Damn you. Let me move this. Could I imagine being a girl like her? I've kissed girls. That's how I found out I was gay. <laughs> hey, that person. Thank you for following. Welcome to the Null Patrol. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Oh, come on in. Oh my. Oh my. It's very... Very crunchy in my ears. Very crunchy. Love hyenas? Oh my god, same. I love yeens. As far beneath Hades as heaven is above Earth, construction began on the foundation of a great computer. Decades later, the first reality of Eternal Torment was imitated by the machine. The year is 2009, and the Tartarus engine was created. Time passed to prevent workers from exploiting the machine for their personal gain. Multiple protective measures were set in place. Four technicians devised a plan and executed into the night. There is no such thing as absolute security. A yeen kisser? You kiss yeens, don't you? Yeah. From the hit movie, don't create the goddamn Tartarus engine. <laughs> nice, Sparks. Um. <laughs> uh, I gotta be honest, I've never heard of the Tartarus engine until now. Hey, Twitchy! Thank you for the raid, good evening! Why would someone ever make a machine that's designed to create eternal suffering? Hey! I don't even know if I hit the right button. Nah, man, we're going to all of them. To see what happens, of course. That sounds like a bad fucking idea, I'm sorry.
T.O. Entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Dun, dun. CEO entrepreneur, born in 1964, Bezos, Jeffrey Bezos. Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. Pave the way, put your back into it. Tell us why, show us how. Look at where you came from, look at you now. Zuckerbergs and Gates and Buffett, amateurs can fucking suck it. Fuck their wives, drink their blood. Come on, Jeff, get them. All right. Move with Wast. Wow. Spacey's singing as plot happens. Listen, it just it gets in my head. And that was a fine sea shanty, so we should all sing on our boats. Oh, no, 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 no. Find shanty. Actually, in hindsight, are there other kinds of shanties besides sea shanties? I kind of reflexively said that. It's a sea shanty, and it's darn catchy. Hmm. Laser tag shanties. All? <laughs> I have no idea where the guy told me where to go. We all must consider the embodiment of Don't Create the Torment Nexus. Why is this really a thing? Is this is this a thing that has actually existed? Why would anyone want to create something like that? Why would someone want to create something that just brings endless amounts of torment? Have people ever thought that maybe just because they should, they can do something, maybe they shouldn't? There's like a movie about dinosaurs, now that I think about it. I mean, we created League of Legends, it's pretty close, right? You know? <laughs> you know the real agony? I love League of Legends and I've played it so much, but I can't ever not agree every time somebody says something like that. Like, man, I love that game. Holy shit, that game drives me insane. I can no longer move, my cat is sleeping on me. It was nice knowing you. It's a sea shanty and it's darn catchy. Da -da 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 da da we're heading down that Newfoundland, that rocky eastern shore. I'll have the shrimps and mussels caught in lobster thermidor. Eh, my eyeballs. Ugh. Oh, this is lovely. Played down with Percy? No, I haven't. Oh, my eyeball. Oh boy, it's the setup from Half-Life 2. We're making a lot of Half-Life comparisons today, aren't we? Oh. Now, the League community is fantastic. You just occasionally get some people in game that won't stop screeching. That's why there's a mute button. Do I do anything with this? Okay. Space, I get those every game. Well, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Huh? That's a lot. Oh! Yo, this music though sounds like Parasite Eve. Is your main Warwick in the hyena skin? No, I play Sona or Soraka or Evelyn. 
No, I, I, I like playing the, the scantily clad women. Do 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 Um Misfortune, she is fun! But I prefer Jinx. Warwick just needs a scantily clad skin, he's got plenty. Yeah, it turns out that had nothing to do with Parasite Eve Darkblade. Um, what do I do? Oh, I guess, yeah, maybe I gotta... Uh. Oh. Oh. Sounds very gay, Spacey. Gee, I wonder why. Partition override panel, Maverick 11 Tartarus. Crowbar. That's terrifying. What random horror game is this? Uh, what was it, the Tartarus engine? Okay. Yo, animals are great at playing games. It's kind of crazy. Scary shit. Thumb development's crazy. Charter our ascension. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there anything here? Can we do anything else with the keypad? Probably there's something else to do with this unless it's just to bolt it back on. Any of it have opposable thumbs? As far as you know. That's why I've got three necks on standby. Do I do anything with a C? Oh, wait! I just saw that down there. Oh, my bad. I need to take this off. Okay. I. Oh. There we go. Then lock it into place. Ah. Does it matter? Can I. Do I just leave? Okay, bye, I guess. Don't pay me enough to put the latch back on, fuck it. Think it fell into oblivion? Eh, we don't need it anymore, who cares, right? So, is this like a mainframe of people that have been uploaded into a torture device? Is that what's, uh... Is that what's going on? Oh, right, I have a watch. What's this mean? Oh, happy birthday, Joker Gremlin! We're playing a series of random horror games. This one called The Lazarus Project. Have I fed loaf today? Oh, of course! Eat some of my noodles. Feels like some serious am vibes. You know? Yeah. Miss any jump scares? Yeah. I'm sorry. To calibrate the device in a moment. There is a much time left. Strap yourself in. 
Hmm. What you type in? Oh, you actually are. Hey, Pub Zeke, thank you for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome on in. Thank you very damn much. Because it is text to speech, sort of. It's like distorted. Uh, strap in. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure, whatever you say. A whole ass digital world and he used to get people to peel potatoes. Fuck. This is the future where Meadow wins. Okay. Uh... Yeah? Oh, I died. Did it work? Shit, they said, right where each storm he fired. I'm drinking water! I, I can't move. I forgot to disable the autumn. It's blowing us out. It's blowing us out layer by layer. What the hell did you do? Oh! How many layers deep are we? <laughs> Holy shit! How many times did you sit in the fucking chair? <laughs> What's the point of being so deep layer after layer? And why do you need to repair something inside of it? Okay. Yeah, uh, what, what, what's the point of being down eight layers then having to fix something inside of it? You broke the damn Torment Nexus. Why is that even a thing that exists? Yep, that's how you get Beef Brain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead after that. I'm pretty sure he's, uh... He's probably scrambled at that point. Oh, God. Need to change the properties again every time. But actually, that's the last game on this collection. Mmm, scrambled. Oh, joy. Oh, God. Let's see. Rad games? Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I like that. Those are neat. Those are pretty damn neat. I still have more on my list for the record. But those are pretty damn neat. I enjoy... I, I enjoyed my time. Maybe it was time to punish prisoners or something? Or McDonald's just really needed cheap labor for fry production? How the fuck do you make fry... It's digital potatoes. 
It's digital potatoes. Why do you need to go down from layer 8 into layer 9 just to make digital fucking potatoes? Can't you just program the potatoes to exist? What is, what, what, what's the fucking point? I don't... Oh, man. Oh. Oof. Crack my everything. Well, the next game that I really wanted to see... <sighs> Part of my yawning is a sequel to a game that I had played before called uh, Hungry Lamu. This game being called uh, Sea Mongrel. It looked pretty neat. Yini yawn. Slightly yawny yini. Slightly yini yawny yini. Lamu is back? I don't know. This one doesn't look like... It looks like it's in the same world and the same idea as uh, Lamu. But I'm not sure. So. Let me close this out. This idea that said that it happened dozens of times before and they just kept going deeper and deeper their own personal tour being this problem they could never solve. I guess. What well, is the problem? Potatoes? Okay. Yeah, this was cool. I love anthologies like this. That's neat. I enjoyed it. That was really fun. But alright, this next game I got off of Itch.io. Uh, oh. It is not a virus. It is not a virus, Windows. Move it over to this. There we go. The yes, SC Mongrel. Uh, this is uh, made by Kulu. And it is a... It's listed as a sequel to this game called Hungry Lamu. Which is this game about this, like, uh, I want to say it was a kid or something. Anyways, then we got turned to this, like, demented, like, llama flesh thing that, like, ate people out in the woods. Was, uh, was pretty brutal. This game's a bit different. As this seems like it's going for the, uh, RPG horror side of things. But I was, uh, very curious... Very, very curious. All right, and then got hit by a car. <laughs> very different art style. Can't believe you forgot our second anniversary. What the? I told you I didn't forget. You're the one that told me we didn't need some big celebration for our anniversaries. <gasps> I love you too, Tanky. Yeah, we didn't need some big celebration. But a little date to commemorate it would have been nice. Okay, and that's what we're having right now. Why are you making such a big fuss about it? Because this was obviously such a last minute thing. If I didn't even ask you what we were doing, I bet you would have just gone for your martial arts class. You say you love me, but sometimes you don't act like it. I do. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Very different tone. Very different. There's a very important comma that needs to be used for the phrase, he ate people out in the woods. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Listen. Uh, Ignore my yawning. Oh my. Damn it. Uh. Pins and needles. Walk it off. Was, remember? I know how to walk him. Yeah, but you always forget enter to open the menu. Hey, aquarium's the other way. Yeah, alright. Oh, this is really cute so far, though. Huh. They have stats. Oh no. They have stats. Attack, defense, speed, identical. Bus stop, bus stop. We fight him, we fight him. Look at her silly little feet. <laughs> Band-aid. Hey, aquarium's the other way. Yeah, all right. Why did it have HP? I'm taking hits. Uh... I broke the game. Uh, 
Um... I can keep making them smaller by walking down. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Y you know how spacey. I, I just walked through the doors. I, I, maybe this is the Lazarus machine. Fuck. He just keeps getting smaller. I want to see if it just becomes like a dot. Not that kind of through the door, hun. You know. How often do you break games? <laughs> I broke Peppa Pig and that game has one button. I still don't know how I did that. Eh. Shrink. It's like almost a dot at this point. I'm amazed it can even go that far. I didn't kill the queen. Listen. And if any government agents are listening, I absolutely had nothing involved to do with that. I'm so tiny. He's still getting smaller, by the way. He's like almost a line. It's really... He's like two dots. Eh. Shrink the man, he's gonna be very tiny. I want him to be a single pixel, he's almost there. I can't see him, he's in the very, very center. I no longer vibe with this universe. This... Almost. I can see his head. He's too tiny, he's got like one arm left, I can still see his feet moving a little bit, he's just a head. One black pixel underneath him. Barely see him, he's almost gone. He's gonna be like the dead pixel on your screen. Watch this like give me a hidden ending or something. You did it, you fucked the game. Congratulations, immediately just DDoSes me and knocks out the internet. Far away Yeen, Yeenfinitive Edition. Now he's even more far away. Go monkey like Frida da, da. Go monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew The cold monkey very simple man Or make cozy fuzzy hearts The cold monkey like you He's now one pixel and one flashing pixel beneath him I just want him to vanish I just want him to not exist just Da 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 Yeah da 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 Then we go into the core of the earth, how deeply go in? The deepest. This is the result of petting the yin to oblivion. Surely you wouldn't do that. There's no more animation, he's just a dot. Just a dot with a little bit of color around him. Just a dot. The, this new version is incredible. The yin is so far the way. I can't even tell it's actually a yin. 10 out of 10. This new distance, uh... Customization thing in very far yeans really nice. The fact that you can still see him is funny. He's like, he's now officially like just like one blinking color over a black dot. And it's so funny that he just actually keeps getting smaller. He looks like a dead pixel, doesn't he? Like I put like I think I'm burning one into your screen right now. Hey Odaiko. Good evening. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, he's like a single dead pixel. He's, he's just a little bit more than one pixel right now. He's almost gone. He's not animating anymore. He's just shrinking. He's blinking a little bit. I appreciate this loaf pixel. My monitor! Almost. Very, 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 very far away ye. Oh. What if we go the other way? I'm not ruining this. Oh, monkey. I, I saw it on the TV show. The cart, cart, would you call Code Monkeys a cartoon? I guess. But like, 
I wound up liking the song more than the show. I wound up liking the song a lot more than the show. The song was the best part of the show. Yeah, like, I remember watching it when I was way too young to be watching that show. Uh, but the only reason I did watch it was because uh, Microsoft would occasionally give, like, episodes of things from for, like, free. And I had one downloaded to my 360. And it was, like, one episode where they go to a strip club or something. Code Monkeys was a product of its time. Yeah, but isn't even that show, like, supposed to be about, like, Atari era? The only episode I remember watching and... I can remember anything about is when they get a pair of tickets to go see this new movie to make a game on and they instead decide to give away their tickets for money so that they could go to a strip club and the tickets they were going to was for E.T. <laughs> so then they get back to the office broke as fuck and they have to make a game in like a few days about E.T. and they never watched the movie. And it's just the origin of why there's a whole fucking landfill for it full of them. <laughs> the story of why E.T. was so shit, yeah. He's just a tiny black pixel now. He's almost gone. I'm so infatuated with stuff like this. Like, you know how I was just talking about earlier that maybe, you know, even if you can do something, you probably shouldn't, but like... I don't know, this releases chemicals in my brain. I actually cannot see the pixel anymore, he's like, tiny flashing. It's like a little flashing thing. I honest to god just want to see if this like breaks the game and crashes my OBS. Is that fucked up? Then I can say I did it. Then I can say that I'm the yin that crashed this fucking game off some random horror game I found on the internet because I kept holding S and shift for like five minutes. He is like a single solitary dot that occasionally flashes now. He is just a single pixel. I don't, he's not even flashing, he's just a little black dot. Keep going for long enough and you'll start getting floating point precision errors. Oh god. This is tend to progress the game? No. I haven't seen you so damn long. I quit using Twitch, saw you on, now I'm watching you till the end. Oh, hey, Rich Orvon. When was the last time you were in here? Oh my god, he's literally just a dot. Oh, he's starting to be overtaken by the background! He's blinking out of existence. He's being overtaken. He's almost gone. He is a tiny block. He is almost magenta. Oh, shit. Or is this salmon? Uh, it's a fish game. I'll call it salmon. He's just a dot. He's being overtaken. I actually see nothing. What are you talking about? It's in the very center. It's in the very center, Quantum. You gotta, you gotta keep looking. You gotta keep looking closer and closer. He's almost gone. I think his hand's starting to show again. Now there are more pixels. I think he became one single solitary pixel for so long. Huh? I was maybe on in before summer, Mr. Q. Yeen ass. Hey, thank you for popping back in. Hey, thank you. I delete in and stare at the screen. This would be really funny for me to jump scare you right now. One dot. One dot. Vet. <laughs> Facey's going insane, I see. Now, what point did you think I wasn't? Can I get much higher? It just zooms in on the One Piece stick. <laughs> I think Spacey's gaslighting himself over a dot. You don't understand. Now that I'm not even holding the button, he's flickering. He's almost consumed by the color salmon. I 
I think he's almost gone. It's mostly salmon. I think it's almost gone. Oh my god. I can still see it, just barely. Just barely, he's... Is he dead? You can still see the tiniest little flicker. Non-existent. Tiniest flicker. I can't tell if that's a smudge on my screen or him. If I release the button, he's gone. That's it. That's it. He's gone. It's dead. It's over. No pixel. There's nothing left of him. Literally crushed and reduced to atoms. And this is what will happen to you if you call me a German shipper. <laughs> All right. It's been gone for years. No, it hasn't. Now it's gone. Gone. He's I can't open the menu. Yes, I can. I did it. <laughs> okay, let's not break the game this time. Let's try doing that. Or not doing that this time. You know, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Crushing you, Okami! Bare hand! Any for space you would be a damn good looking chef though? No well, thanks. But even still. I'm calling you a dog of giraffe colors? No, but I am a mini giraffe. Okay, let's try it again. Was that not the actual point of the game? No, I'm sorry. I just... I, I, I don't know what's wrong with my head. Since like three years ago. Okay. I'm gonna crush your sweet ass for making us endure infinite salmon. Is that a promise? Okay. Let's just go inside this time. Why did that work? Hey, what you got there? Eh, uh, just some spare drinks from today. You can have them. I was gonna throw them out anyway, more whatever. Sweet. Are you serious? We're not beggars, Theo. What? Free drinks are free. You're so gross. Wow. Sorry, bud. Roll out. What did that guy put in the food today? My stomach's not agreeing with it at all. Just 10 more minutes, Brad. You can hold it. Poor Brad. Good evening. Two tickets for our lovely couple here. Do note, we're closing in about 30 minutes. Enjoy your visit at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. Ouch, got myself a nasty cut here. You don't know, got a spare bandage roll I can use? Got a bandage. Did you enjoy yourself, Zoe? I did, Mama. I got to see so many cool fishies. My favorite was the water worm. That's great, dear. Let's head home. Okay, Mama. No orca at the Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park? Good, orcas don't need to be contained. It's not good for them. Hey, Corridor! Thank you for the raid! Good evening! You, are, you, are, you, are you saying I... Are, are you saying I should be an orca? And hey, Corridor. Hey, thank you kindly. Thank you very much. How was your stream? How was your remnants? Oh my. Whoa, it's about this huge. Probably why it's so fat. Just like you. What? It was just a joke. It wasn't very funny. Jeez, we can't take jokes anymore. It wasn't even a joke, it was just rude. I've told you I don't like it when you joke about that. Fine, sorry, I guess. I really want to replay Remnant, or I really want to play Remnant too. 
I have it in my library. I've been sitting on it. Toy plush. Let's call her Mochi. Okay. Hmm. When encountering a threat, a largemouth bass has four choices. Fight, guard, bag, and run. Fighting allows the largemouth bass to choose a move to inflict damage onto the threat. Some of its attacks apply status effects, like a chance of causing bleed or stun. Some moves are slowly used to inflict status effects on the threat, but tend to have a lower accuracy. Largemouth bass depend highly on their stamina. All their moves require stamina to carry out. If a largemouth bass has insufficient stamina, guarding will allow them to regain a certain amount of stamina. Choosing to guard instead of attacking is a strategic decision that could benefit the largemouth bass in the large run. This doesn't sound like a bass at all. Well, what do we know? Take claim to be Twitter bird. Now that now that Twitter bird is dead, I I will gladly be the new Twitter bird. This must be a trout. Oh yeah. I suddenly feel like eating sushi. So mean, right in front of Miss Fishy. The large mouth bath is an option of bag which allows to use items that is stored. Different items have different effects in terms of extreme danger. The large mouth bath must use its most valuable item to ensure survival. However, items are limited and the largemouth bass must choose wisely on which items it should use. Running is also an option that the largemouth bass has. However, when pit against a big threat, it is unlikely that the largemouth bass would even be able to escape. Bass with a bag. Okay, this definitely doesn't seem right. This is when were you a fish expert? It's Narlin and Bori from Finding Nemo. It's so pretty. I guess Mimo got lost again. Or maybe they replaced him with this prettier redfish. That's just cold. It's a cute tutorial. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Hmm. The Sea Habitat Aquarium is our largest tank here at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses several types of marine life, like fishes and coral. All the marine life in the tank support one another, creating a miniature ecosystem within the tank. Sounds sick. Let's go check it out. Ever thought of playing Minecraft? I played a little bit of it, but not much. I made an entire house out of seaweed. I didn't know it was flammable. It didn't catch on fire, but... Did you want to see the Sea Habitat Aquarium? I'm sure nothing bad will come from this. Also, yeah, yeah, somebody pointed out. Yeah, that is the dog from the first game that got eaten. It's fucked up. Whoa. Just a whole ass, like, looking shark in there, huh? Big ass shark. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Sorry for not planning anything for our second anniversary. It's okay. All that matters is that we're together, now. Yeah. Come on, let's see everything else before the place closes. Okay. Shale Wark? Not either. Eh, did they close already? We weren't even here for 15 minutes yet. Well, maybe they forgot to tell us they were closing early. Guess we should get out of here. Sorry, Kim. What else can we do anyway? What's that sound? Sounds like someone's coming. Must be an employee coming to fetch us out or something. Hey, dude, don't worry. We were just about to leave. Is everything okay? We're not looking for trouble. We didn't know you guys closed early today. A largemouth bass. Okay. Jab it. Whack it. Holy shit, it was a critical hit. Hmm. Huh. 
<laughs> Theo learned an uppercut. What the hell was that? Theo, say something. I don't know. Is it a mascot or something? Scales felt real when I punched it. And it attacked us. Yeah. Is it dead? I don't know. Let's just get out of here right now. Not the same thing. Let's grab that fire axe, huh? I'm taking this fire axe just in case. Just be careful with it, all right? I can handle myself, thank you very much. Kim learned something swift swing. Hmm. That's only a little horrifying. Also, that really didn't look like a largemouth bass. You don't think these guys will attack us like that thing, do ya? I really hope not. There's a possibility of an orca boss. Oh no. I just watched Resident Evil Death Island. The poor orca! I think it's gonna need to go towards where that thing came from. Eh, it might be. Probably the easier way out. I'll take care, Ardkiss. Yeah, Death Island's out. Ooh, an item. Did we level up? Oh, we did. Cool. White glove. Hmm. You watched Resident Evil Death Island? How was it for you? It was fun. It was fun. I liked it. Oh, hey. Please don't hurt me. Hey, chill. We're just normal people. Oh, thank God. You okay? No, I'm not. Me and my sweet boyfriend just wanted to celebrate our first month, Sarari. Month, Sarari? It was supposed to be a simple fun day at the aquarium. He even told me he had a surprise for me. Then the lights went out and we ran into this terrifying fish thing. Looks like we weren't the only ones. Well, where's your boyfriend now? We waited here for a while until he told me he was going to get help. He should be coming back for me soon. It is an actual movie, but yes, it's CG. Nothing there, huh? Okay. Yep. Goodbye, Mia. Patch up open wounds to stop bleeding. Hmm. The Thalons a good Resident Evil movie? I mean, a lot of the CG ones are, to be honest. They're a lot of fun. Vendetta was. Degeneration was good. Infinite Darkness was pretty good. Oh my. Vendetta's probably my favorite with Degeneration. Did Leon ride motorbike? Leon may or may not have a fetish for a motorcycle now. <laughs> and they may point that out. Oh god, is that... It's too dark to see, but the smell gives it away. We have to get out of here, Theo. Oh dear. Is Infinite and Darkness want the gun break dancing? That's Vendetta. That's the one with the uh, very close combat with the guns. Hmm. The white glove. Slaps them awake. In that situation, would you try to hide or escape? Escape, of course. What the hell am I doing in my life? Why am I, why am I of all these people eating lunch alone in this room? Brad thinks he knows everything, always targeting me. He knows I'm better than him, he's intimidated. Seb, that goddamn pea brain, all he thinks about is his workout. Everyone knows intellect beats all. That Jen is so bloody annoying. She thinks she's got everyone at the tip of her fingertips asking me to do her work for her. 
Sally's too kind, she's not going to go far in the real world. And that Demi, her lack of interest in anything pisses me off. It was a go I was a goddamn scientist. Me and my mentor were so close to a breakthrough. If only we had more time. How the hell did it go from experimenting with chemicals to serving disgusting snacks and beverages? They'll all get what they deserve. Lovely, dude. Yeah, no, I'd absolutely try to escape, arm myself, and get out. Not going to hide around and wait for something to come kill me. Use. Electrical safety device. No way to save, huh? Control panel looks like it would open up the shuttle door. It's missing a fuse, though. Not uh, the fuse fits. Still made a victory song for when one loaf wins. You you made a victory song already? Wait, Theo. There's a switch here for emergency lights. It'd be nice to see you again. Flick it. Oh. Hammerhead shark. An uppercut would take even more. How much damage does that do? 40? Not worth. Whoa! Hmm. Guard. Minus two defense, minus one speed. That's not good. Shark received multiple open wounds. Whack it again. Oof. What's Theo gonna do? Uppercut it. What's Kim gonna do? Heal him? Ugh. Gar oh! Rude. I assume that's what wake up is for. Let's go for broke. Does this say Hammerhead Shark used bandages? Kim fumbled and missed. Ah. Uh... Damn, really? At least I get another shot, right? I do. Okay, that's good. That sucked. Thank God the game auto saves. Also, you added the, the victory music in Spacey Art. Oh God, I have to hear it. What the hell, Roxy? That's really good! This? You just made that? <laughs> Your boyfriend did? Your boyfriend's really good! <laughs> that's... that's really cute sounding! Okay! That sounds really good!
Your boyfriend is really, really damn good at that. Sheesh. He's gonna start the stream tomorrow with that music. <laughs> I think I'll save for the loaf encounters. Deep crunch on Theo. Hammerhead shark fumbled and missed. Good. It was a crit. Uppercut again. Hammerhead Shark fumbled and miss. Mm. Her, actually. Band aid, Theo. Is this game after the whole Lamu game? Made by the same peeps. This is made by the uh, same people who made the Lamu game. And this does take place in the Lamu verse, apparently. Mm. Guard a bit. Bumble to mist. Sharp bite on Theo. Mmm. Theo can move properly again. Now, this really does give me Lisa vibes with... Woo! Hey, there we go. That's a lot of XP. Theo learned low kick. Kim learned aimed what? Did we just beat up a shark? Yeah. Let's go, Kim. Was I supposed to run from that? Is that what that was? Ooh. Not too big of a project for me to do alone. Ask Babia for help, and now we're tearing up together. That's really damn cool. I'd love to see more of y'all's stuff whenever you're able to post more. Oh, what's this? Oh, first aid kit. I still love that warrior sprite so much. White glove. Mm, I can heal them out of battle. Okay. It covers all HP, cures all ailments. Okay. Use on Kim, use on Theo. Fantastic. We'll give uh, Kim her SP back. Ah! Nice. This must be that girl's boyfriend or what's left of him. He's holding something. Oh, an engagement ring. Yeah, let's bring that back to her then. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Third party member time? Maybe? I don't know, this seems like there's really a lot of room. We need more horror RPGs. We really do. Hey. My dear Brian should be returning from any second now. Oh, you're back. Did you find my Brian anywhere? Oh God. Brian. Please leave me. Wait, I found this when we were hiding together. Now please leave me be. Thanks. I need to be alone, please. They've only been dating for a month. Yeah, and apparently he was going to engage to her already. Is your BF SoundCloud, by the way? I am going to bookmark this in a heartbeat. All right. We need more horror RPGs at Mecha Horror Games. Yeah? What about that horror RPG where you had that old lady make wet noises at you while telling a story? Uh, fucking... Uh, sh Shadow Hearts? <laughs> Hmm. Deep, deep down below the depths of the ocean floor is one of the most mysterious and undistinguished parts of the ocean. It houses several unexplainable marine creatures, some of which have evolved in terrifying ways to adapt the conditions of the deep sea. However, there's beauty in the deep dark sea as well. 
The jellyfish, being 95% made out of water, illuminate the depths of their bright colors. Jellyfish don't have brains, lungs, or hearts. Most only live for a few hours. Here in Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park, we house multiple jellyfish of varying colors. Watch them swim in their individual pillar tanks. For a closer look at their anatomy, we have constructed egg yolk jellyfish statues ten times original size. No way, they're actually called egg yolk jellyfish. All part of a nutritional aquatic breakfast? Ocean yeens come and for you spleen. Absolutely. This seems like a very bad place to stand. I gotta be honest. Space, will you be? Will you marry me? I've been here for years. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I need a, you know, a bit more, a bit, a bit of a close bond for that kind of thing. One thing of a reaction loaf would do when he tries a marshmallow for the first time. Oh, well, thank goodness you work here, right? Oh dear, are you both okay? Yeah, we're okay, but. No, don't worry, you're going to be fine. Please just tell us how to get out of here. Maybe like an emergency exit or something. Well, the building seems to be in lockdown, the other exits are shut. The only way out would be the entrance where you came in. We're doomed then. Now, now we're at the end of the park building right now. Beyond the deep dark sea is the last exhibit, the touch pools. And past that is the merch store and you'll be back in the lobby. Come on, Kim, just a little bit more. Make it out of here, I promise. Lady, come with us. It's dangerous here. Oh, don't worry about me, dear. I'll be fine. I'll stay here and wait for any other guests. You two go on ahead. Take care, ma'am. We'll see you outside. You two, take care of each other. Need to get ten hearts in Spacey's relationship bar? Exactly. Got the key from the girl. Nice. Gotta get that rune factory stats up. Fragile, stinging cell samples. Be careful of that. Stinging cells shoot pen poisonous venom into the skin. Huh, does it get through other materials? I don't know, I just remember reading that somewhere. I've got an idea where that just might work. Venom kick. What? What? Dousing your shoe with stinging cells that you can have venomous kicks? Oh, well, yeah, what's the problem? How do you not see the issue with putting literal poison on your clothing? You said it'll only go through skin. I should be fine. Should be? Not chill. We'll need any advantage we can get right now. Whatever, man. <laughs> Fucking pours it on his shoe. Fire extinguisher. Is it to put someone out? Yeah. Well, I don't know, Red. I mean... I actually really like these characters, yeah. I enjoy them. Must be nice to be a jellyfish. Not a care in the world, just swimming. Endlessly. No responsibilities, no thoughts, just... Jelly. This guy's got D and D brain, venomous kicks. God. Mm. Sorry, where'd she say to go again? Entrance right. Hmm. This is like a good Tumblr post, what she just said. <laughs> Maybe she has one. I feel like beating the hell out of a uh, horrible shark and fish monsters is what's going to bring them closer together. Honestly, it'd probably bring me pretty, pretty close to somebody. Like, hey, you want to go beat up some shark demons? Fuck yeah. Wait, this isn't a fish. Cigarette stick. A thrown away cigarette stick still can be used. Okay. Maybe it applies burn? Oh, the manta ray and the horseshoe crab are in love. Wonder what a manta crab would look like. A space want to go to the Oregon Coast Museum? Yes! You want to kick and tip over yachts? I may also be down for that. Disposable taser. Shock the stun out of them. 
A first aid kit. So much shit dropped in here. Hmm. Receive two what? Yeah, I can't understand why people would want to feel these slimy fishes. Maybe the fishes are attacking them and they have no choice but to fight back. Yeah, when is that ever going to happen, right? <laughs> Suspension, bridge effect, life-threatening situations survive usually bring people close together, especially couples. Fair. Pick up soft drink. Radical. Well, don't really need the slider anymore. Y'all can have it. We don't smoke. Wait, you can try this with your axe. Rad. Fiery slash. I guess I'll use that soft drink on Theo. Wish I could see my attacks before I, uh, you know, start using them and stuff. Like before battle, I mean. Another shuttle door, huh? And this one needs an employee access card to open. This is a horror RPG. So she's mostly the status caster. I think that's more him. He has uh, poison and sleep. And she has uh, bleed and fire. Uh-oh. Hey! Venom kick. Purposely miss the target, confusing them. <laughs> Sleeping sting. Theo was knocked out. Theo's out cold. Try doing that again. Burning sting? Egg yolk jellyfish is burst into flames. Aimed miss. <laughs> Theo's still asleep. That bad, huh? He's been up for a while. He should wake up soon, I hope. I hope. Hit itself instead. Cool. Bleed, fire, and confusion. Egg yolk jellyfish got their shit together. <laughs> Alright. So Theo guarding while sleep is regenerating his stamina. Okay. It really does not like Theo, like, at all. Uh, Band-Aid. Here you go. Invasive swim, but it's still bleeding and on fire. And let's just guard. I'll just burst in the flames, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Give it the fear and hunger strats. Fake out, pumped up. What the hell? Was that thing above us the entire time? Wait, where did the lady go? Oh no. Oh no. She must have dropped this. Let's go, Kim. Poor lady. Should probably wake up Theo. Let's have them have some soft drinks as well. Okay. What level are we? 18? And 18. Okay. Pretty aware for being a sleepy boy of oh, Theo? How is the jelly more easy than the shark? Because we have special attacks now. Gift shop. 
Under different circumstances, I really would have liked to buy a seal plushie. Oh, well, we can just take one now. $50 for a plushie? No way, Theo. Capitalism. We can't just steal one right now? Who's gonna miss it? Hey, Tomorrowland! Thank you for the six-month resub. Hello. Did you know my plushie is only $29.99? Ocean Yin, and take me by the beans on the <laughs> Show me what you mean, you cetaceous bean. It's empty. There's a picture. Oh. It's empty. Oh, wait. It's a key to the toilet. Why does this person have it in their locker? That's kind of fucked up, right? It's empty. Empty. There's a picture. Oh, Shinyin. Oh, is the bathroom here somewhere? This is giving me like Paper Mario aesthetic of how it does like the zoom in. The best pl the base plushie is actually kind of cute. Bass space. Bush. Sucks that I'm pretty much traumatized by any fish now. We could use it for exposure therapy. Need a full cover of ocean yin. <laughs> oh god, I should. The lobby, we made it back. Oh, this feels like I should have used my items to like full heal. The nightmare's finally over. I'm going to take a good long bath to get rid of this fish smell. Yeah. What's up, Kim? Let's go. Don't you feel watched? Huh? We're so close, Kim. Let's just get out of here and leave this behind us. We can't leave this behind us if it follows us out of here, Theo. It's the statue. The dolphin is aggressive! Okay. Fake out. Do it early. Dolphin dash. Whoa! Hey! Smelling salt. Fake out again. Fiery Slash. Theo is confused. Uh oh. It hit himself and said, Uh. Venom Kick. A miss. Man, they don't like Theo. Okay. Use Band-Aid on Theo. Swift Swing, get Bleed. That one is very aggressive, very... Venom Kick. Wacky dance on Kim. Mm. Confuse the dolphin again. Ooh. Fake out again. Bleed slash. Already over the poison? What a pain. Mm. 
Venom kick, a miss. Ugh. Theo was burned and poisoned? Mm. Damn. Mm. Hey, stacking debuffs works. The only Kim gained 214 XP. Now it's over. Let's go, Kim. Right behind you, Theo. Uh... Oh, God. Let's just, um... Right. Bleeding ailment slaps them awake. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. Everyone, there's no real reason in, like, not just using those ahead of time. Does it give you the toilet key? I don't know. I'm not sure. Was there even a locked toilet? I'm not going for another round of that. The exit's the other way. Nope, other way. Honestly, I don't blame her. Hey, the bus? Hurry, Theo, let's go. It's just another fight to make the bottlenose dolphin fight easier. I know you said we didn't need a big celebration for our anniversaries. But you have to admit, that was a pretty big date. Considering we almost died multiple times. Yeah, I guess it was a pretty big date. I'm lucky to have you, Kim. No, no, Theo, me too. So were the scientists the same one that made Lamu? I'm guessing in the first game, or they are affiliated with each other. I'd have to like actually go back and look at the old photograph. <laughs> that was a cute little RPG. I liked it. That was a cute little horror RPG. That was a lot of fun. Oop. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, i say that was nice. We don't got much lore. Nah, there's not a whole lore with the both of them. All you miss was a fight with the lady you talked with in the jellyfish room. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was implying, I guess, all the, uh, the workers were the ones that turned into those. The dolphin did have a person face like Lamu did. Yeah, Lamu was a person originally. Mayfish is driving the bus. May if I wait for the enter to return to go away. May if I wait a little bit. Do, do, do. Hmm. Yeah, overall, it's nice. I enjoyed it. Didn't expect the. It feels like it kind of just ended, but at the same time, like, that's fine. I was waiting for, like, a big realization or something at the end. Nice jacket game car, too. Hey, thank you, Rex. I appreciate it. Look at the seats implying they're sitting. That's their ass on the seat, you know? Oh, man. The guy did complain that something he ate made him ill. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, tonight we've just been doing a bunch of, uh... A ah, bunch of, uh, short games. So don't worry, you haven't missed, I'd say, too much. But uh, really quick, before we get to the next one, um, I'm going to use the washroom. 
I'll be back in just a moment. And thank you, Derps. I appreciate it. Yeah, they contacted me uh, just a day before it closed. Like, hey, do you want an extension? It's like, absolutely. Thank you. But yeah, uh, I will BRB if you don't mind me. If you have any questions, uh, bring him to Loaf over there.
All right, all right, I'm back, I'm alive, good morning. And yeah, Makeship, uh, yeah, they said uh, that we'd get another 14 days. Uh, the representative I've been talking with for like the past half a year now uh, came to me and asked me if uh, if we wanted to do that and was like, yeah, sure, no downsides. No downsides. More people get to get their hands on loaf. I think the release date may have been moved slightly, but I hear that just happens to plushes all the time anyways. But, uh, yeah, 14 more days of uh, being able to obtain them, which is great, because I had a lot of people come to me and say that they weren't able to, uh, because just bad timing. So hopefully this will iron that out a little bit, give them more of an opportunity, which gives me a more of an opportunity, because I wasn't able to get one for my grandma, and she's going. She really wants one, so I gotta get one for her, and I gotta get one for my mom, and I, I plan on getting one for their friends. So I'm still gonna buy like three or four more loaves. <laughs> so, which is really weird if you think about it, because they're gonna be, you know, you know, obviously, you know, I get a, I get a cut of the profits from the loaves. So te technically, I'm buying them from myself. That's kind of weird. Hey, Otter Tail, thank you for the 11 month resub. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Doing the same pi wait, what? I looked up the Itch.io page of this in the first comment of someone posting a screenshot of them doing the same pixel walking into the void that I did. <laughs> Great. I imagine the delay is because the 500 loaves. I imagine the more loaves that get sold, the bigger of a delay there's going to be, so it'll take longer to make all the loaves because they're hand-stuffed, so... Yeah, that might, um... That might take a bit. <laughs> Didn't even think about it that way. But hey, thank you very much, Ellie Bear. And I immediately <laughs> screw up typing your name. I'm sorry. Hey, thank you very much. Hope your stream went really well. I said, it's later. I need to get move on. Get out of my own aquarium. Too moist, too moist. Understood. Hey, have a very good night. And thank you for, like, hanging out tonight and stuff. Hey, Zon. Good morning. All right. Let's see what other freaky things I've got tonight. Oh, let's see. Ah, uh, yes. I've got uh, probably the scariest one tonight. One that's actually a bit more horror-lined. Let me move this out. The next game that I've got is called The Prototype, which is a very surreal uh, kind of... Uh, what, what's the word? Uh, analog horror where we are sitting in front of a giant animatronic and we have to see if it's strange or not. Pretty freaky, actually. A few of the screenshots freaked me out. So I'm about to buy corn half of my debit card. <laughs> FNAF? Not quite. Well, kind of, but no, not really. FNAF adjacent, I guess. <laughs> not actually FNAF. Let's see if it's strange or not. Yeah, if it's creepy or moist. Essentially. Let me move this over. I'm still losing my mind over that, uh, that Loaf Victory song <laughs> Roxy's boyfriend made. It's so... Ah, I love it. Good God. It's probably going to be both. Yeah? Ask me if it's creepy or what. Loaf victory song? For the Loaf Fight Club. It's really nice. <laughs> I like it a lot. Alright, let me... move that... to there. Which in hindsight, you're probably going to hear it a lot now that I think about it. <laughs> Considering there's a lot of loaves. Uh, this videotape is intended by personnel of Pandemonium Technologies, Inc. Only. Oh, I've, this is like weird size. Hold on. Okay, there we go. You will conduct a series of standard prompts to assess the latest prototype developed by Pandemonium Technologies. Choose normal if prototype has responded correctly. Choose not normal if otherwise. He is a state-of-the-art talking companion intended for all ages. His features include lifelike movement, a lovely singing voice, 
and human-like response. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Plaything is capable of functioning as your family, your friend. He is unlike any other companion. At Pandemonium, we take pride in the quality of our electronic puppets, ensuring that customer experience is nothing short of positive. Section 1. This is brand new. Arm area. Playing stimuli in 3. If the prototype has responded correctly, his arm to your right should remain raised. <laughs> okay. Say inflate here. Hey, dear Fallon, thank you for the seven month resub. I appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. Seems normal. Oh, and howdy, Comet. Night him raise his arm. His arm to your left should remain raised. <laughs> Normal? It was already raised, yeah. Head area. Creepy fun thing, Comet. His head should be tilting to your right. My right? <gasps> yes, he's responded correctly. The fact that all I can hear is my own damn tinnitus. Very responsive. You want to get a personal up upload cue? You can have you sit here. You want up against the giant screen in the dark. His head should be tilting to my left. No, I'm okay. Are you sure, buddy? I'm afraid I'm going to click wrong. It's just going to scream. I <laughs> area. I can be your creepy friend. He should be looking to my right if he's responded correctly. <laughs> I don't like the face. Yeah, that's my right. How much are we getting paid? Not enough. I can be those things, Q. I can be those things. You should be looking to my left. He's looking to my left. Hear him moving during the beeps. I want to be the big friend that sits on ya and then shows you horrifying, horrifying fucking experiences every night. Why they make him like that? Masochist. Sadus, he should be looking. <laughs> Proto 
prototype singing voice will activate through pre-recorded prompt. Sits on you. Check out this spooky YouTube video I found on my phone. Oh, that's absolutely me. Please ensure speakers are placed properly. Hey, Christopher. Please sing Daisy Bell. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Not normal. Please sing happy birthday. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that's funny to me. This is freaky as hell. <sighs> Introducing. Ha ha ha. Well, hey there, kids. It's me, Gozo, Gozo, your favorite clown. Who wants to see a magic trick? I see some hands. One, two, three, four. Why, so many friends came to celebrate today. I have a little present for you, birthday girl. But before that, everybody please sing happy birthday. Why is it looking to the right? Is that not normal? Is that not normal if it's looking to the right? Does it matter? Uh, okay. Just the voice? Yeah, but why is it looking? Don't look at me. The prototype respond to a series of standard questions using pre-recorded responses. Well, hey there, hey there. Mm. I'm doing just well. Thank you. Seems normal. I'm an electronic puppet, but I'm a smart one. I was created to sing, make jokes, and so much more. I am a talking companion intended for all ages. I can be your family, your friend, your... You're what? You're what? Your lover? No! Why did the cupcake go to the doctor's office? Because it was feeling crummy. Ha ha ha. Ha, ha, ha. I have a good one. What type of tape do, do kidnappers use? I think this is far from normal. Oh no. 
Dude. Is that a birthday party across the street? That's the saddest fucking party I've ever seen. Chris, look. They got a clown and everything. Chris, look! Why did I hear Sheva? You think that guy is a family? Hmm. Maybe he's got a dying clown wife or something. You dick. Aha. Uh -huh. He's really going extra with the balloon animals, huh? It's all balloon dogs, dude. Oh! 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 Hey! hey so, Don't look uh, at me. Earlier, I picked up Cole from his school like you asked. The kid was getting hungry, so we went to Hardy's for dinner. Yo, fucking give me that... You Frisco don't have Burger. Cake okay from that birthday gig. I got you covered. Just. It's nice Let's go to Hardee's. Where are you? Dude, where are you? Cole found your pager at your nightstand. He brings it with him to school. Refuses to give it to the police, saying it's the only thing of yours that he has left. I've been hearing about missing cases happening recently. Your son is worried. I'm worried. Stop it, Tito. <laughs> Put that song in my head. Where are you? Where are you? I sincerely hope you only fucked off to elope with that birthday kid's mom. Jesus, Nick. Huh. Call me back ASAP. Rick. Nick. Nick Miller. That's... that's me. Welcome, Nick. Go ahead and tell me about yourself. I grew up in a small town all my life until I moved to a different state two years ago with my son. It's been a challenge trying to provide for us both. I've been doing odd jobs until I saw your job listing. That's the voice of the guy, the a robot. I'm uh looking for my next professional job. Jobs. Boing. Yes? What kind? My current job is entertaining children at birthday parties. Could you demonstrate? Uh... <clears throat> well, hey there, kids! It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown! Who wants to see a magic trick? Wonderful! They took his voice? Wonderful. Uh, thanks. You're hired. What? You're hired! We could use someone with remarkable talent like you here at Pandemonium Technologies. Uh, that's... That's great! When do I start? Please let me go! I okay, won't tell anyone what down. you do here! I won't tell! I swear! Please, Leave the head. Yeah, we don't God. want to damage it. It hurts! Stop! It hurts! What the fuck are you doing to me? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's mouth. Oh, it's mouth. Hey! That's not normal, dude. His transformation is finally complete. 
No. They robocopped him? Bad. Yeah, they did. Hello. Well, hey there. Boing. How are you? I'm doing just well. Thank you. What are you? I'm an entertainment companion. Excellent. What is this game called? The Do Prototype. You who you are? <laughs> oh, that's freaky. I'm in heaven. Oh, this was weird. Huh. Yeah, I don't think this is a series, right? I think this is just a one-off little uh, horror game, but... Huh. Cool. Freaky little horror story. It's like he had... Oh, God, it's like he had, a uh, clown makeup on him underneath that thing. That was neat. Oh, yeah! Yeah, it's called The Prototype. Just one of the little random horror games I found for tonight. What a menacing little screen, too. What do your picks even do? Oh, I have no idea. Da -da -da -da. Nice short anatomy esque horror game. Yeah, that's pretty good. Did the clown die and they put him in the robot. It sounded like he was alive. Like he signed up for a uh, little thing. He was poor. He was a single father, a son back at home. Looks like they took him, uh, performed surgery on him to make him into that machine, that bio, that bio machine. I think underneath the uh, the lid is a clown face. That or it's a corpse head. Either or. Still freaky. Will the stories be picky about which interviews show up for? Always read the TOS before you sign it. <laughs> yeah, Clown Makeup underneath, he was absolutely dedicated to serving. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. I'll say sit here. Uh, did I have anything else? I did. I had another game, uh, a new Zed Technician game. Actually, one that uh, I have not played uh, yet that actually came out something like 20 days ago and I somehow fucking missed it. Which is a surprise for me because I love Zed Technician. By the way, that's it. I guess I just got to close the game. Absolutely love Zed Technician. Oh, what did... Th <laughs> what did... What did Thistle post in the... Uh, in the Discord? Oh, that's cute. Thistle, if you're there, can I show that art? Oh no, Zed Technician. I love Zed's work. You ever had combos? Oh, I'm sorry for not answering that. Yeah, I've had combos once. It's all right. It's all right. Sure, go ahead. All right, just wanted to double check before I did. Happy birthday. Which is really funny because I still have the image on the... <laughs> the, the, the... Two jeans on a wire. And thistle through this. I resize it. <laughs> it's adorable. I love it. That's what hyenas do. They belong on the wire. They <laughs> they climb up, they hang there, they whoop a bit. That's so cute. I love it. And all the mini yeans. So glad I came back to see this. Here here's your uh here's your brain cleansing after uh what we just saw. <laughs> The crow. The crow's clearly agitated. Oh, man. Just hanging and whooping. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let me, uh... Let me grab the, um... Uh, buh, 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 buh. Where is it? The file. Oh, did I not extract it yet? Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on. I thought I did. I guess I didn't. 
And happy birthday, happy birthday. Is Zed the one with the big girls? Yes, Zed's the one that really likes the girls, the big bahonkaroos. <laughs> with the like furries and demons and gods and all that stuff. But then the stories are just really wholesome, creepy horror games. <laughs> Zed has a very unique style. I appreciate it. Nah, uh, let's see. Let me get this up. Let me- Oh god, it- Ah, oh, god. I do hate how Zed's games, like, start on both monitors for me. Here, let me do this. Uh, let me get this game into full screen before I, uh, capture it. There we go. <gasps> Black Onyx Star! Thank you for the 57-month resub! That's 4.7 years of the Big Eden himself. I've been doing your best and everyone's enjoying this stream. Many more to come. I am doing pretty damn well. Honestly, I've been doing pretty damn well, especially these past two months. I have been... I have been exploring more aspects of myself. I have been doing a lot better. Much better. Letting myself be a bit more open. And overall, I'm feeling like a much better person. Remember this, Arthur's work fondly? Oh, absolutely. Yes, this is the same one who made the Midnight Maids, or same guy who made the Midnight Maids. I always love his quality settings, dear god, no. Alright, this is called The Warning Watch, and I actually didn't see what this was about. I gotta admit, uh, this was the last thing I saw before tonight started, and I was like, Ooh, Zed Technician game, and I just grabbed it and shoved it in my mouth and ran. So I know nothing. Oh my. Well, thank you, Key. From Hollington Hardware and Home Improvement, LLC. Subject, server maintenance. Dear employee name, online ordering has temporarily been disabled in your district due to persistent server issues. To ensure that our customers do not experience any service delays, all online orders must be manually processed during this outage. Online functionality will be restored by 6 a.m. Of course, it is always 6 a.m. Zag Technician's blessing gift to us all. My, my... Uh, Ichio uh, launcher is almost just Zed Technician. <laughs> you can't put Zed Technician games in your mouth, it's too thick. I can swallow my whole fist, I can fit a Zed Technician game. Well, phooey. There goes our Friday night again, Sammy. You better get comfortable back there because we're going to be here a while. Sammy? Oh! This is an outrage. You've gone in early and left late for every single day of this week. And when you finally reach the point where you can get some rest, they spring this nonsense on you at the last moment. And look, they didn't even take the time to properly write your name out. It just says employee name. I will not stand for this. Calm down, Sammy. It's fine. I just have to input a, little, a few little orders, then we'll be done, okay? Look. His animations are getting so much better. Oh, they have been, yeah. The panel of the order number will always show the next order that needs to be filled. Panels to the left and right display our inventory. And the one at the bottom shows what's been added to the current order. Oh, Star, thank you for the 5,000 bits! Ah! Glad to hear you're doing better. I'm hoping things continue to do so. Nothing's to be stressful. I know you got this. Just take a day at a time. I appreciate it. I, I really do. Uh, honestly, ever since I, like, you know, got my collective stuff and, uh, uh, moved and got everything else situated, I've, I've been doing so much better. So much damn better. And again, thank you very much, Star. I appreciate the bits. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Moo. Hello, Dino Dude. And the one at the bottom shows has been added to the current order. All I need to do is make sure the contents on the top match what's on the bottom, then just send it off. Hmm. That's it. Ah. Oh. I told you, this part's easy. First batch will be done in no time flat. Then once we finish the remaining batches, we can rest, okay? If you say so. 
A kitchen sink. Oh. Hmm. Kitchen sink, outdoor tape. Speaking of dinos, I have a, fr I have a friend who wants me to make a dino for something. Thinking of Stegosaurus. Impact drill. You're timed? Oh, I noticed. Wooden planks. That's not bad at all. See, Sammy? Is the first batch done already? I've been done with this faster than you can say. Oh. Galenius? A what? Emergency order system the National Cold Authorities issue an immediate threat warning for all effective counties. The NOA highly recommended living down lying down with one's face completely obscured until sunrise. Do not draw its attention. Another alert. That's the second one this week. How do you plan to proceed? There's too much work to be done for us to go to bed now, Sammy. We'll just have to work through it again. If you're unable to lie down with your face obscured, follow these instructions. Ensure that all windows remain locked. It can unlatch them from afar. Are you really sure that you can handle this tonight? There's the window in here. The one in the guest room. The one in the kitchen. The one in the entryway. And the one in the living room as well. Flickering lights indicate that it's attempting to gain entry. Stay alert and ensure that all windows remain locked. Do not let it in. Uh... Okay. Oh, I see. God, I'm tall. And oh, good lord. Uh, I see. Wait, wait, wait. Is my order timed? No. Okay. Lights flickering. Lights flickering means it's making an attempt, right? Okay. Alright, I see. Lights flicker, get off, go fix it. Got it. Monster mix two. Three cardboard boxes. Stellar. Joint compound. Outdoor tape. Hey, Phoenix, thank you for following. Welcome to the Null Patrol. I hope you enjoy your stay. Red wall sheet. Hammer. May the monster kidnapping the bunny child. Yeah, that does happen. Utility cart. Lamp. Kitchen sink. Okay. Mortar mix. Two lamps. The Stev's games are very fun, by the way, if you haven't seen much of theirs. Zerman's concrete mix. Yep. Oh. On it. Like, genuinely really entertaining games. You have to lie down on your face, or you have to do this whole song and dance of locking your house. Fuck it, I'm laying on my face. Alum Ranch. What are you doing, step a ladder? Okay. Oh, wait, I fuck up? Yard bags. Oops. Mortar mix. 
You did table saw? Oh. Give enough time, they'll find an entrance to your location. Sure that all doors remain locked. You're doing great so far, truly. Keep in mind that the longer we keep all this up, the more difficult it will become. You must forget about the dimpled on the front door. You know, I was just saying, like, I'm sure the, like, you know, the people who hired you will totally understand about the circumstances that would prevent you to work, but then I realized... <laughs> that's a fantasy. On the stick that keeps the back door from opening either. Stick. Don't worry, I'm on it. Bolt cutter. Yard bags, too. Round wood panel. Okay. Three Allen wrenches. Two cardboard boxes, one extra long electric cord. The world is freaking out, and so am I. Two yins on a wire. One tries to whoop. And the other. Shit. Why is there a talking snake? She's a chimera. Impact drill. Zed has very uh, unique uh, characters in his horror games. And honestly, they're refreshing. TBH. Stick is the best method of keeping the home safe. Fair. Also, all these games have a very, like, if you lived in the South, you understand a lot of this shit. I, 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 I'm taking a wild guess and assuming that Zed is also Southern. Outdoor tape. Because, like, damn near all the characters are. Zarman's Concrete Mix. Okay. All of them are Southern Core. It's nice. Again, don't see that too often. I like it. Okay. Latch. Latch. The witch was making potions in a steel barrel. I love that so much like you wouldn't believe. Just out in her front yard. Oh. Out in her front yard in front of her, uh... Uh, mobile home. Joint compound. Wooden planks. Mortar. Firewood bulk. Oh yeah, the south is totally full of weirdos, and honestly, it's a blast. You meet a lot of interesting people. Plus, you get a lot of tourists. And that's fun, too. I mean, I've dealt with tourists, like, my whole damn life. But from one tourist spot to another. Uh, table saw. Uh, starts with a T. Okay. Allen wrench. Damn it. Batch complete. Hey, goodbye, demons. I just pulled my, uh, my mustache hair. Uh, running water may suddenly become boiling hot. Do not under any circumstances leave faucet flowing for prolonged lengths of times. If you can hear the sound of running water, you're in danger. Lots of weirdos like this one Yin streams horror games. Yeah, the same Yin who hung out with his uh, with his friend and made a pot potato rocket launcher and accidentally fired it and may have accidentally hit somebody's window. It can travel through the mist, shut the faucet off immediately. Step ladder. Uh, lamp. Garage door. Yeah, I'm giving you so many of these. Hey, Fluff Tackadol, thank you for the six-month resub. 
Thank you, thank you. Good to be subbed again. And they have access to the yeans once more. Oh fuck. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, who was that? <laughs> All right. It's got a stand ability. Oh God, it's got water ring, you're right. Quick dry glue. One, two, three, wooden planks. One, two, okay. A criminal, yes, but uh, it kind of like a character that was from an earlier game. Okay. Round wood nail gun, or round wood panel, and then, then three nail guns, okay. I need so many nail guns. Oh god. Planks. Joint uh, compound. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's somebody outside. Okay. Alright. Do my cycles of fixing shit. As you do. Just cleansing demons as you do when you live in Florida. Okay. Impact drill. Ainer's tape. A bit of a dip. Engine sink. Damn, why do you need three kitchen sinks? Quick dry glue. Three wooden planks. Dip down. Da 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 I hope you sleep well, Rex Ivan. Oop. You have a very good snooze. Uh. Garage door. Drywall sheet. Rubber box. Okay. What? You can exist in more than one place at once. Part of it is now standing on the other side of your front door. Common table salt can be used as a ward to keep it out. Salt must be thrown at the door every time it tries to enter. This could save your life. Seems as though we're finally on the home stretch. You're almost there. Everyone probably thinks their sinks are broken because they're spewing out mist demons. Well, I mean. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, that would make sense. Don't forget to grab the salt from the kitchen counter, you'll be needing it. You can do this, Sabra. I believe in you. Uh, I'm gonna go get it now, then. Better bring this with me. There's more than enough salt in here the last of the night. Throwing a pitch is difficult at all, I just need to make sure I have enough space. Okay. Got it. You got this, Deborah. Hammer. Vacuum cleaner. And five kitchen sinks. Space yin. Uh -huh. A hyena. What would give you that idea? That a yin was in your presence. Okay. Be gone, demons. God, you just 
fucking up everything now, aren't you? Jeesh. Jerk. Okay, two vacuum cleaners. Five extra. Oh. What? Did I not lock that? The entity silently stood at the other side of the door as it slowly grabbed a hold of the handle. Time and time again, the human's accursed picture boxes had fooled the entity's dark ambitions, but tonight... Oh, I thought that was locked. Well, my bad. It's like it finally changed for the better. Shit. The salt? You forgot the salt? Oh, I thought that was that thing that was peeking in the closet! Oh. My bad. Misunderstood. For some reason, I thought the closet thing was like where it was breaking in. I misunderstood the assignment. Salty. Very tasty. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Oh shit, I gotta reopen all these doors now. Uh. And I gotta re grab the uh, stuff too. Yep, bring this with me. Yep, got it. Cool. And you press H, it puts a hammer. Oh, for the... No? Doesn't seem to be the case. Impact drill. The front door is locked. Has to be turned up to be uh, unlocked. Try glue. Okay. We should have to start from the very beginning? No, thank God. Cart, sinks. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I need to? No. Huh. Mm, okay, just checking. I think that's just a jump scare. No, well, <laughs> timing. As soon as I sat my ass back down and got cozy. No way, you. Not allowed in here. Actually, I don't think that's the same monster. Doesn't seem like the same thing that's uh, trying to break in. Salt! Pure salt. Well, the jump scare sure worked on me then. <laughs> I like that Zed can create uh, creepy games like this. Even with the horniest designs known to man. Okay. Nail gun. Vacuum cleaner. Uh, kitchen sink. Firewood bulk. Oh, my eyeball. Ugh. Lamp. 
Well, I'm saying I think there's two monsters. So I think there is. Impact drill. Put in flanks. How's the loaf doing? Very well, actually. Loaf's doing very well. Loaf's very psyched on how well his plush is doing. Hmm. Cardboard box. Nail gun. Uh. Joint compound. Oh! Close my door. Rude. Very rude. Two yins on a wire. One tries to woo, and the other. Alright, cool. Not a blush to give it to a friend of mine, so they always have a yin. That's really sweet. To you. Utility car. I got my eyeball. Uh, my eyeball is just... Okay. Uh, board. Uh, whoops. D whoops. Three. Kitchen sink. I'm fucking up right now. Okay. Oh, they're totally gonna let you die at Sentai. Okay, we'll go over this one more time. The doors? Oh. Locked. The windows? Latched. The faucets? Off. And the front door specifically? Freshly salted, everything's in order. And since you also managed to finish all your work in time, do you know what this means? It means we get a chance to sleep in for once, finally. Exactly right. You better hurry up and get to bed before the lights start flickering again. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> so now you just get the snooze, Deborah. Hmm. Good night. I wish you pleasant dreams. Good night, Sammy. I'll see you in the morning. That was simple. That was simple. That was cute. Yeah, I knew this one was going to be a bit of a shorter one. Yeah. <laughs> this one was the uh, one of the. This one did not have a uh, a paywall in front of it. This one was free. I had a feeling this was definitely going to be a shorter one. Still need to throw money at him though. I grabbed this in a rush. I need to do that. Ugh, I really like Zed's games. So it doesn't have difficulties or more endings? Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Though, so, uh... I think something may be about not doing your work in time, because I got two stars right away. So maybe there is a way, but uh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. That was cute. That was fun. I also may have, uh flew through all the games that I had planned for tonight. <laughs> so let me grab uh, one more that I had set aside and we'll play that one. Because uh, we kind of uh, flew through those at the speed of light. She's a manticore chimera. I thought she was a human lay a pet talking sm snake. Nope. Manticore. <laughs> all the characters in Zed Technician are some sort of like fairy or magician or just outright furry like goat lady or shadow people or it's like a world of like magical entities and all that and they're all just kind of used to it at this point but it comes with the uh the things that can go wrong when you have so many magical entities walking around there's some humans there are a few but even then they're like always like magicians or something even if they are human, there's always something about them. 
Alright. Let's see... This load here. So the next game I've got up, pulled up to the side. It's called Signs. And it is a... Interactive piece of software presented by the Seismic Safety Commission that simulates the events of a catastrophic earthquake and aims to prepare the trainees for all eventualities. It's a world of horror? I wouldn't say it's scary, though. The Cockroach Lady? I love the Cockroach Lady. The lady from the very first game was just some regular person with a shotgun. Wasn't one of her relatives still a magician? We found out later, though. I know she was just a lady with a shotgun, but... <laughs> I think she was still related to magicians. Oh my, welcome to your local Seismic Safety Commission website. Oh, this looks neat. Hmm. God, this old ass browser. It'd be really fun if it let me actually play with this. Xscape is supposed to be like Netscape. You can find digitize our quick earthquake preparation guide. Quick preparation guide. Hmm. One, if you're indoors, stop there, drop cover, and hold on. Get under a sturdy desk or table and hang on to it, or move into a hallway or get against an inside wall. Stay clear of windows, fireplaces, and heavy furniture or appliances. If you are outside, get into the open. Away from buildings, power lines, chimneys, anything else that might fall on top of you. Fall on you. Follow me. If you are driving, stop. Move your car as far out of traffic as possible. Do not stop or under a bridge or overpass or under trees like post power lines or signs. Stay inside your car until the shaking stops. See, my car my stream isn't all just horror brain rot. We've got educational content. If you are are on or near a steep hillside, watch out for landslides. Falling rocks, trees, and other debris that could be loosened by earthquakes. Sheva, follow me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Basic steps to ensure your safety at the event of an earthquake. Planning ahead. If you're in a building, stay in the building. If you're out of a building, stay away from buildings. Yeah? Create a family disaster plan. Practice and maintain the plan. Making complete a checklist. Plan home escape routes. All these basics. I learned you can be tackled through a window. Uh, yeah, that happened to me when I first played. It literally... Flew through. I, I got slammed my ass through by, I think, the pushing robot, I think, did it to me? I think? But yes, I, I have been thrown through a window <laughs> in Baldi's Basics. I actually really like that game. Like, genuinely. Make sure each member of your family knows what to do no matter what they are when where they are when earthquakes occur. You were the one who clipped it? Oh. <laughs> know where your gas, electric, and water main shutoffs are and how to turn them off if there's a leak or electrical short. If in doubt, ask your utility company. So I get what you're saying now, Orgo. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, too. Talk to your neighbors. How could they help you or you help them after an earthquake? You should trust them and they should trust you. Hey, Cuddles! Thank you for the year-long resub! That's one whole year! It's a lot of dang time. Make sure to have supplies to last for at least three days. The most important are medication for your family, food, water, a battery-powered radio, right clothing, matches, flashlight, and a first aid kit. Remember, don't use anything that can be a fire hazard. Hmm. I got dog jump scared at the start of the stream. <clears throat> 
because I went to go pick up something at the front door and I was crouched down when I opened it and this big black lab just <gasps> in my face just I, di I didn't yell or anything it just like <laughs> like oh good lord just right in my face <laughs> A uh, puppy is a very big dog. You're a fire hazard? What? Why are multiple of you fire hazards? No oh, hi, Cujo. <laughs> it, was, it was... It was... Somebody was just like, you know, walking their dog back to their room. It just scared the, like, shit out of me. It just caught me so off guard. Turns out the dog's a sweetheart, but he's also very... People are flammable, Spacey. That is true. Everyone burns. Everyone burns the same. If you are unsure of the situation, consult our guide and trust your senses. Never make the mistake of leaving a safe area until the officials have said over radio it's safe to do so. Do not underestimate a potential threat. What well, looks safe by a quick glance can end up costing your life. Always assess carefully. Dog, he's a boofer. Oh, yeah. I love the gay pride fire truck. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, hey. Try as they might to put it behind them. It doesn't take an eight-point earthquake to be destructive. There's no season for earthquakes, and usually no warning. That makes the prediction of earthquakes the most uncertain science of all. What was up with that hole? What was up with that hole? Okay. That's one that I just watched, right? Yeah, okay. Interactive demo. <laughs> We're about to launch the interactive demo. Please make sure to watch our archive guides first for an optimal training experience. Yeah, launch it. Shit. Whoa, hey, whoa. Okay. That's sick. Interactive demo, they said. Something I'm supposed to do? Looks like that valve's important, right? Why is my new cruelty squad the colors? That's really it, though. Somewhere I need to go? Fun in the direction, all right. Oh, F! I'm dumb. Huh. 
God, the way this looks, I would think it was made by Kira. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Calibration detected. Amplitude. Calibration complete. I just heard a heartbeat. What is this game? An earthquake simulator. An earthquake training guide. But what does that sound? Oh, did I do it wrong? Do I need to calibrate it again? Oh, I see. Yep, yeah, Bam Bam 4 comes out on August 12th. I am... I will be there. <laughs> For this damn series. Hmm. What is the best game I played today? Um... The best game I played? I really like that really short what they're all they've all been short I really like that one with um we had to take like the tubes out of the wall and you had to like measure them and there's like you had to fill them with fluid and shove them into a, a machine and slam them into the wall to hit like a monster on the other side and then like you had to like take the monster's juices or something with another tube forgot the name of it I liked it though My disposal now. Okay. There we go. Your emergency. Hi. Um. I noticed that my car will not start. I'm locked inside my car. I cannot open my car. I can't get the windows down. Nothing electrical work. And it's getting very hot in here. And I and I'm I'm not feeling well. As an emergency responder, I don't know why that's my problem. Hmm. Oh, almost every single one of these has been from Ichio, uh, Zan. In fact, whenever I do these, they're almost always from Ichio. Hello? How hard is to break car uh, glass windows? A bit. Yeah, what I mean from Mike. Oh, that's where I get him. My library is just mostly him. Saliander Boulevard with a cross of West Side City over Fox at 3, at 3, if I may. Uh, so it's 13 always, we respond to the 30 camps at 10, 7, 
Gitu, tidak tepat. Hmm. Oi, what's up? So I'm trapped in, am I trapped in like a bus or something? What am I trapped in? I'm trapped in something. Like a building I think collapsed. Like a building collapsed on me. Whenever I think of like cavens like this, my brain always goes to angel beats and then I feel sad again. Hmm. Listening on the radio in hopes that someone realize our building collapsed and come save us. I think that's what's going on. Well, that was serial looking. Looked like something with its head tilted. sound like you. They are not you. They look like you. They are not you. They smell like you. They are not you. They feel... They feel like you. They are not you. Do not let them in. Hmm. I did now. I've never heard of the Oregon Trail before. Wait, no, is that like the Oregon Trail? Uh 
Oh. Okay. Ah. Huh. Hey, Joe Werewolf, thank you for the 11 month resub. Big werewolf hugs. I, I, I react with a hyena hug of my own. It may not be as big, but you know, I will whoop. I appreciate it, Volk. If you want to listen to the commercial alarm sounding, go to the smoke detector in the clubhouse. At the State Park, please. Uh, several, 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 You want, like, a trash heap of electronics? <clears throat> kind of? Seems like there's a few things keeping the power on. I'm doing good, how about you? I'm doing alright. I'm doing okay. I'm surviving, I'm yeeting. Hmm. Why eat someone when you could just make more werewolves? Oh. Hmm. Am I gonna die? Is cringe. Hmm. They sleep like you. And wake like you. They solve like you. They are not you. They build like you. They are not you. They eat. They eat like you. They are not you. Do not let them in. Hmm. Do they whoop like you? They better not. I'll get scared. They better not. That mic? I... I just streamed a bunch of his games today. In fact, the one you just linked me is, the one, is one of the ones that I streamed today is on. <laughs> oh, did I miss it then? Yeah, like I said, I know Mike. I feel like this computer just really wants us to distrust other humans. Nah, what? Trusting, uh, trusting each other? What is this? Higurashi? Get out of here. Oh. Lighter? Thicker, got it. Decoding again. They reach like you. They climb like you. They crawl like you. They are not you. Free game. They think like you. 
They are not you. They wait. They wait like you. They are not you. Do not let them in. This thing exists like it's trying to hypnotize me. This is doing a good job. Well, oh, <laughs> well, the other side was one of them. Okay, never mind. I guess just more of this. Oh god. Hey, welcome on in, y'all. That was the room you're in? Yup, sure was. you inside like you they are not you they come for you they are not you they like they like you they are not you do not let them in. Hmm. Okay. Well, I haven't played that VHS game from Mike, and we probably have time, so I can play that after this. Like us like pals or like us for like dinner? Probably both. Three games you played are the ones I knew and liked. Yeah, you released them in an anthology little collection on Steam. Hey, and Dark Pool. Oh, oh. Oh. Hello? This is kind of a weird VHS simulator, man. Or earthquake simulator, man. Shit. Did we just kill a fireman?
Are we the firemen? No, that was there when you found him. Oh, yeah, right. Um, Yeah, he was just like this. Ugh. So this is supposed to help me prepare for earthquakes? This is not a compilation. This is uh, called Signs. Um... Oh, I couldn't see the fucking F because my mic was blocking it. Okay. Unexpected area illegal operation perform program will shut down. Oh, that's it? No, okay. Yeah, all right. Game that closed itself on finishing. I still don't like those. Yeah, even still. It was cute. Eee, stretch a bit. Ah! Okay. Let me do that. Seems like the hypno worked on the on the MC. Yeah, no kidding. So yeah, I'll play uh, I'll play the other compilation they have. Uh, the ones that um, bu 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 my brain stopped. I just said his damn name. My Klovnica, uh released. They released um, Unsorted Horror. So I'm gonna play their uh, their other one that they have. Which I, at least I think it's a compilation. It looks like it is, but I'm not sure on that one. But this one is called, uh, Unsorted VHS. So let's run this. There we go. This will probably be the last game of the night. This will probably be a bit longer, too. Oh my. Oh, VHS, oh yeah. Rip Video Horror Society, though. Makes the police sense why you just had a fireman's axe fall on you like that. Yep. Totally killed him when he jumped in. Totally don't feel bad about that. surviving earthquakes. I know the game you're talking about. <laughs> Isn't it a whole series? Wait, what about QC dump? What I miss? Oh, Video Horror Society. You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tape sits in front of you. You pick up a tape. It softly quivers in your hand. The label reminding you of a distant memory. It's really a shame about a uh, video horror society. VHS needed more marketing. They needed more marketing and also probably not change the name of the game to make people confused. Just typing in VHS wouldn't get you VHS. It wouldn't. It, you'd have to look for video horror society after advertising as VHS for so long, and then when it was in its uh, little closed beta state thing, they kind of never really advertised the game at all. <laughs> That's uh, not good. Happened to Video Horror Society? Dead. Suddenly you hear a strange voice. Play the tapes. Find out how you got here. Everything is interlinked, don't you remember? Eject tapes at any time with G. Okay. Sure, whatever that means. It died, it seemed to be doing well. It was not. It's uh, closing down, I think, next month, or this month, actually. Uh, v Video Horror Society was on a huge down, uh, downward climb and never really got back its player base. Also, now that we're in the perfect nightmare environment, uh, I got a BRB. I'll be back in just a moment or two if you don't mind me. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, give them the loaf over here. <laughs> BRB.
to scream and the other also wildfire hydrant i'm sorry for not answering that um i am i have the uh the baldur's gate 3 i've been playing it actually <laughs> i really like it a lot also full disclaimer i left to go be entirely selfish the selfish reason was um i wanted ice cream <laughs> i wanted an ice cream pop I, I had craving. I was craving for the tasty ice cream pop. <laughs> How's your character, badass? Well, I've got three running right now. Well, I've got one that's just sitting there in that stow car, and I kind of want to stream with him. I kind of want to stream Baldur's Gate 3. I don't know, because everybody's playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now. Uh, the other one is a tiefling that I've got with a friend, who I really love. I love his design. I, like, spent way too long in the character creation to make him just look gorgeous. But it's a tiefling. It's not like you have to try that hard. And, uh, the one that I'm playing in my free time, that that tiefling is a wizard. And the tiefling, or the dragonborn that I'm playing in my free time is a paladin. And I'll let you know, it took one hour and I accidentally broke my fucking oath already, so I had to reload. <laughs> I couldn't be a paladin for one damn hour. Fuck. <laughs> Let me show the the damn image I showed at the beginning of the stream. No Dragonborn Ranger? Nah, I went for Paladin. I changed my mind last second. I wanted magic. I wanted cool Dragonborn magic. The fucking... My, my, my Dragonborn's fucking face. Just like, oh god. The, the look on your teammate's face. Asterion and... <laughs> Gale look horrified. I love it so much. Oh my god. It's a scary scene too, and the two of them just look like they just saw death. Oh fuck. What happened that moment? If you break your oath, that happens. 
it uh it's not a good thing it's a very bad thing press f to inspect tape mountain view primary school all right is it bad well as a paladin you have an oath an oath that you uphold if you break your oath you lose your powers as a paladin and you can do one of two things you can become an oath breaker which is a different type of paladin but you'll be locked into it as an oath breaker or you can fight against that handed power and then try and find the way to restore your oath but during the period of you doing that you are pow you are powerless you cannot use your channel divinity it's honestly really cool i love the way that they added that in the game paladins are harder to roleplay for that reason but I love the fact that they added it into Baldur's Gate 3. Oathbreaker has their own thing entirely, yes. Also, that's really loud, holy shit. Here you can redeem yourself, restore your wealth. Yeah, that's what I just said. You can, you just gotta find a way to do it. You get cool fighter traits, you get you can bash people on the head. You can pommel strike them and shit. But you also get cool AoE magic and smite Fucking smite. Did you know Smite doesn't use a spell slot if it misses? That's really funny. That is really funny. Alice, do you want to go play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins when they're already open. This will change the game of tag forever. Briar Arch Crim. Oh, you can still mess around on a paladin, just don't break your oath. Whichever one you took. Literally, if it says like, hey, don't be a jackass and kill a random person, you kill a random person, God just looks down to you like, what did I fucking say? <laughs> You can still fuck around. Plus, you do get a lot of cool interactions as a paladin. I'm, I'm trying to eat my ice cream. Which is in my right hand. So I'm, like, trying to move the mouse with, like, my palm. Uh... What oath were you? Defender of life. And, uh, I fucked up the dialogue checks to save Lazel, so I tried to kill the tieflings and immediately lost my oath. And that's how I learned Lazel is evil alignment. Oops. Oh, man. Is that really it for this place? Ah. Nice, C-Dub. Yeah, okay. Uh, Lazel has, like, no qualms cutting down, in a sense. She is not considered good or neutral. <laughs> I think Shadowheart is considered true neutral. Uh, Lazel is considered like, what is it, lawful evil, I think. And Asterian, no, is Asterian, Asterian's like neutral evil, right? That doesn't mean that they're like, what's the word? Like bad guys. It just means that's how they act in like a setting. Okay, I guess I go to the next one. Asterian is funny evil. Asterian hates me. He hates me. I have done everything to piss him off. I, I half expect him to leave my party. He does not like me. Every time I do something good, every time I do something nice, he hates my guts. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do, you little twink? <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do? And I hope he doesn't leave because he's my rogue. <laughs> that being said, Shadowheart loves me and wants to sleep with me, apparently. <laughs>
What's in here? Yeah, no, everybody else in the party likes me. Even Lazel likes me. Asterion does not like me. <laughs> he does not like my guts. Did you tell her you gay? You know, honestly, uh, Shadowheart's probably my favorite so far. Hmm. I thought I wasn't gonna like her. She is genuinely such a damn kind, considerate character that is... So, what's the word? Interesting? The more you get to learn about her. So damn interesting. Without saying uh, spoilers, I really like her. So looking from a full eight hours. Hey, good shit. What do I do in this VHS tape? Hmm. If it can't go in here yet? Hmm. Interesting. My hand is getting tired holding this ice cream. Uh, yep. Do I follow the stumps? Can I follow the stumps? What happens if I just leave? Nothing! Got it. What flavor? <gasps> Strawberry. Mm hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. It, it did say I can just go to another tapes and come back, so I mean... Okay. Whatever you say. Unapologetically horny sometimes, all the time. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of... Oh. Okay. Teleportation. of the cabin anomaly. One of the six cabins seems to be missing and someone had to enter as another cabin teleport to it. The symbol. Ah, cold! I'm not... <sighs> okay, I live. I ate the rest of it at once. Okay. I guess I'll take it out. Sure. What does this mean? Yeah, all Dragonborn have is their breath attack and the resistance. They don't have anything else because it's release Dragonborn and they are bad. <laughs> Beat up if you want that kind of thing. There's about 15,000 other porn games to play. Oh, that's a dead body. Hey. <gasps> ha. Huh. I screenshot this. I screenshot this and I sew this away. Okay. Mm Who 
two of them. This kind of looks to be the same area as the uh, the cabin. side of the house is this? It's like facing the stairs. Oh! Right here! A key. Let's go on in. Maybe for the cellar. Are you there, demon? Why are you running around like that? You got a flashlight. That's pretty nice. There's a big hole in this wall. To Alfred Raphael, from Alfred, Alfred Raphael to George Booker, <clears throat> 1983. Why is everything I play recently have to do with 19 fucking 83? George, I'm sending this to you from the locker in the hope that it does not find me here. Put the cabin anomaly on full lockdown. Hell, if I were you, I'd put the pulse sonar down. The high level security access code is 4142. I know this is coming out of nowhere and I am not the author one authorized for this, but you have to trust me. I'll try to make my way to you. 4142, huh? Okay. Igarashi continues to haunt me. Hmm. Yeah, everyone died in 1983. This is true. Oh, yeah, I guess it needs a disc, huh? Why is this one covered in blood? Something lit up in the distance. Does Loaf get along with cats? Oh. Pretty well, I'd assume. Hmm. No, this is out here again. There was no code. Just tried typing it to see if it would do anything. Is there anything in the school I missed? So happy about that campaign extension. Same, now I can get my grandparents one. Same, oh same. Does my grandma really wants one? No locks? Hmm. 
Yeah, my grandma wants one, my mom wants one, my dad wants one, so... I'm ordering loaves. I love that your grandma wants the mischievous mascot of your channel. <laughs> she just wants it because it's it's from me. Also, my grandma's weird. She likes creepy stuff. A loaf for the whole family. Exactly. They all want one. But she's proud of you. I hope. She, I, I hope. That'd be nice, I guess. Yeah, I'm buying one for my grandparents and for my uh, my folks' son. They know about this stream. My mom does. She watches on occasion. <gasps> Wait, disc. Get out of here, you bastard! I'm busy typing. lockdown but spacey we misbehave lockdown reverted for where though my mom knows I misbehave granted when my mom first found out that I was gay she th her first idea was for me to become a monk Did they ask you how you managed pulling off making plushies, I mean? Eh, not really. Just kind of told them how it happened. So I could learn Flurry of Blows, right? Yeah. Actually, my mom loves D&D. Eh. She plays an orc fighter. Oh, wait. Get up. Lockdown is over. Does that mean this this or this one may have changed? AC help. Oh. Does she think monks don't fuck? It was because monks don't fuck. But no, my mom knows I'm gay now and talks me with relationship stuff and things. Ah, this did change. Bring your kid to work day. Spectre Foundation, huh? Watch a movie that made me cry repeatedly? What was it? Oh god, did they get you a hold of Marley and me? Is your mom ever trying to hook me up with a boy yet? No. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? Oh. Didn't know that movie was a tearjerker. Grandma would ask me, when do you do when do you get the gay voice? You don't follow? Oh. They mean that I mean that stereotypical way when you talk like this. Gonna go in here. Oh hey! Free key! Don't know what that's for. If it's this zoner's Probably upstairs, actually. Dump, but up, but up. Okay. I watched the second Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't watched the first one. Oh my. Most of the finances are simply not interested in the unmarked location. If I'm being completely honest, it might not RP or it might not even exist. Our best option right now is to try moving on to the cabins. It could be a revolutionary way of transport. I'll assemble a team for Tuesday. Alfred. 
That name again. Hmm. Oh, the cabin things, the teleportation. Weird, what do I do with this knowledge? Did all these sound because of teleporting cabins? I think so. They're trying to figure out where that teleporting cabin went, I guess. Nah, honestly, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Marvel movies. I can't, I've seen so many of them at this point. Iron Man 2 was kind of the nail in the coffin, that's when I stopped. I watched Avengers Endgame. Um... I watched the second, uh... Guardians of the Galaxy. And it's not Marvel, but I watched Wonder Woman, I thought that was pretty neat. Oh, hello. Please be aware of the following guidelines when working with the cabin anomaly. Do not under any circumstance leave objects inside of the cabins that can cause fatal injuries upon teleportation. Close the cabin doors upon exiting them. This is to maintain the interior of the cabins. Failure to do so may damage the integrity of the anomaly. Employees must conduct teleportation research one at a time. See guideline number one. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in contract termination. Ah. Oh my. I guess they're just like, I'm not really interested in watching them like I could literally be doing anything else kind of thing. Hey, Alibi Dragon! Thank you for the raid, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Good evening, good evening. How was the stream? Oh, it's Sir Devil! Thank you very much for following. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you, thank you. Can't wash the dishes because of the dishes anomaly. Damn that dish washing devil. This cabin is two dimensional? I don't think so. This is a very weird premise for a story. Mm. I did see that, uh, that first, uh, John Wick movie recently. That was pretty cool. I watched Barbie. I liked it. Uh. Uh. Watched a few things. Hey, Lakiki Saragi, thank you for the raid. Good evening. Hello. That was Pikmin. Silver or platinum, no gold. That sounds like a trying time. What do I do with this? Hmm? That's so quiet! Yeah, I watched the first, uh, I watched the first John Wick. I thought it was pretty good. I'd like to watch the sequels. Do I just wait? Okay. Oh, you know what? I did watch another MCU movie, uh, Morbius. Oh, it teleported me. I just realized that. It put me over... Oh. So I gotta get to the one that's missing? Is that what I'm doing? Hmm. 
we morbed all over that movie. Really, it was just all of us in the... <laughs> we watched Morbius. I can barely tell you what that movie was about besides, like, key points. Because all we were doing were rapidly spamming and typing and screenshotting just images, just screaming, I'm morbing out, he's morbing out. And the, the fucking... The, the fucking chat was just at the speed of light from us just rapidly spamming text. I don't think any of us actually seriously watched that movie that night. You know what really fucking killed everybody at the end of that movie? The fact that nobody knew it was an MCU movie until the very end where randomly the vulture comes up to Morbius. He's like, Morbius, I need to find, help me find Spider-Man. All right, I will. And everyone just starts screaming in agony at the realization. It was a good night. I've never watched Morbius, but I have laughed at the have sex dance scene. It comes out of fucking nowhere when it does. Morbius is an MCU movie, yes. Yeah, Morbius in the actual story is, like, closely related to Spider-Man in his story. <laughs> You would, like, have no clue while you're watching it, though. Also, the movie's just really bad. What the fuck am I doing with these teleporting chair things anyways? Cabin things. Am I supposed to be doing something here? Three times what? Morbius in the comics, I assume, is cool. Probably. What's the point of having these teleporting cabins? This place sucks. Do I need to watch that one tape again? This doesn't count as a cabin, right? Should I following the power cable? I didn't even notice there was one. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe Morbius got memes so hard to death that they re-released it in theaters because they thought it was so popular online. And then it just tanked even more. Really, that's honestly phenomenal. Beautiful and handsome, you say? You flatter me. Close the cabin doors upon exit and maintain the interior of the cabin to reduce so many damage the integrity need anomaly. Okay. Maybe I just got to teleport into each of them and I didn't realize which one I got to teleport to. Or there's this thing. A major mo movie studio got successfully gaslit. It was... It was a beautiful day. When are we going on a date at a haunted ramen shop? Yo, that sounds sick. I'll bring the gun. The ghost gun. Wait, one took me to two? Why? I'm bringing the invisible gun from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> A 
It brought me to one. Hey, good morning, Proto Fluffy. Hello. I'm at one again. Did you find a place for the code yet? Wait, it's not 4142, is it? It's not the code on the computer that was used for the PC, right? So if I get it incorrect, it brings me back to 1. Oh, wait. Failure puts me back at 1. But 1 brings me to 2. I didn't realize there was a code for this, but that makes a lot of sense now that you mention it. There's an order I need to go through these things. Think about seeing a movie today. Oh yeah? I think I gotta go back and check out another area. Because I just tried forward and- wait, uh... Will go me to four, then one? Four, one, four. Two? This might not be the right code, though. No, I need to find something else. Was it in the school? Renaissance Fair, huh? That sounds neat. Let me check that note. I already used the 4142 code, yes. Mm. And I just tried doing that on the uh, cabins anyways. No joy. Maybe it's the video I gotta rewatch. Hmm. Really? You don't poof to the cabins that are already open. What if I leave them all open? Don't poof to the cabins that are already open. Hmm. What was his name like one one three oh seven? God. It's still funny to me. There it is! Figured it out! Oh, gross. So this is where that cabin went. How horrifying.
Are we in a dome? It feels like it. Anything to do with this knowledge? Huh. I'm like on a giant, uh, like one of those milk, uh, cookies and cream Hershey's. The whole wall is cookies and cream Hershey's. Almost glitched off. Oh! A hollowed out brain, you think? Oh! Same man. Oh, hey! It's like Silent Hill S looking good. This can't stop me, because I can read. <laughs> oh? <laughs> what was that? Fighting Polygon team? This has to have a signal tower. Well, apparently they made quite a mess. Ew. Oh god, it's the same blood texture repeated four times. They're so accurate about the way they kill. Even on the dick? this. Hey dude, you alright? Oh, good night Ryan Raichu. Have a good snooze. The contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. How do you expect to return? You watch them over and over again. The friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They grow brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. Hmm. They turn you into a computer now? I think that's exactly what they did to me. I'm stretching again, sir. He used a crack in my spine. Ugh. Crack my everything, don't mind me. Weird though. I guess they had access to teleportation. One day somebody fucked around and found out by closing down all the or closing out all the teleportation cabins. Leaving the doors open, they wound up contacting some sort of alien life which came down and killed everyone who worked on the project. Turning somebody into a computer. I assume that's what was going on. A ending, the machine god. <laughs> god. That was pretty neat overall. I'd, I'd say it, it gets chalked up to a definitive neat, but I think the three other games uh, Mike Klubnik made, uh, I actually liked a lot more. I thought this one was alright. Not bad, just okay. And don't touch me, please. Also, the cabin or some house is a signal tower. I don't know. Eh, I do okay. Yeah, funny short story telling you about a moment yesterday. Oh? Curious? No, oh, man. Oh, you had that copy pasted. 
No oh god. I mean, this character got selected genitals as a human, although the chat was always flying through a minute after he selected genitals. He somehow caught this one message. Someone asked if he could show us Dragonborn's genital, and chat erupted in laughter. He also laughed for a bit and said, I'd like to leave some things mysterious, and then moved on. <laughs> okay. I was ready to not waste your time. Well, I appreciate it, <laughs> Let's say you're wasting my time. Nah, oh, man. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I've, I've basically gone through all the horror games I was interested in showing tonight. And I guess it is like 6, 18-ish. Uh, I guess we could close out now. Does Dragon Ball get cloak up? No, they got a dick. They got a dick and they got balls. This seemed fun, but I kind of can't tell these PSX horror aesthetic games apart from each other. Don't really leave much of an impression on me. This one wasn't really PSX, though. It's just kind of... 3D-ish. <laughs> PSX, the, uh, the extra crunch. No oh, man. Baldur's Gate stream? I thought about it, but... I don't know, I kind of want to. Kind of want to... Eh, Baldur's Gate kind of thick. Kind of a lot of people also playing it right now. Kind of want to, kind of don't. Eh, maybe. Maybe, possibly. But yeah, I think, uh, I think I'll end it here. I think I'll end it here for tonight. I've been feeling a little... bleh tonight anyways. So I think, uh, I think now's a good time to call it. I am out. So, if you're new here, I got a fancy Twitter, I got a fancy Discord, if you want to know the next time that I do go live, which is every night unless I say otherwise. I also have a fancy loaf plush in the, in the chat there as well, if you, uh, if you want to grab a loaf, who's been extended for 14 days. So if you wanted to get one and you weren't able to get one before, you now have more time to do so. Also, uh, loaf is now considered a large batch order. So, uh, may take a bit to make the loaves. <laughs> so I think that they're going to release on November 12th. If the page is, uh, any indication. Loaf has been extended. He's longer. Oh, no. We've increased loaf by one inch. Oh, man. By the way, make sure to announce the winners on that same Twitter post in the comments. Yep. Oh, yeah, they did. If you wanted, you would have gotten a, uh, you would have gotten a pink for it. Oh, yeah, I addressed that on Twitter. Woo! <laughs> So Yanni, oh, show. I guess so Yanni. Towards the end. Like, I'm not Yanni, but the moment I see, like, oh, I'm ending stream, I just start yawning like hell. So. Let's go raid. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. Let's go raid Ruman here. Let's go say hello. They're playing a very polygonal looking Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know what's up with that. But hey. You always yell like this at the end, Mr. Tired Boy. I'm only a little tired. I'm only a little sleepy. I don't know. There's like a character who's like all pixely. I don't know what's going on. I don't play Final Fantasy XIV. That looks horrifying. Hey, by Def Nation. Oh, that's right. Does anybody have an idea for a, uh, for a uh, raid message? While we're at it. It's part of the shit post quest line. I see. Makes sense to me. Oh man. Hey, Karis, we see. Hey, thank you, Small Bean. I'm excited for the. I I I did not expect Roxy and and her boyfriend to go so hard on the loaf thing. I still can't believe we have loaf victory music. I don't know why the one loaf gift does not open here though. I do not know why. The what? Yeah. The, the low victory music. There's an image that shows them fighting, but does not does not show up. Oh, by the way, y'all have a good night. You all have a good evening as well. Uh, uh d d just spam the dance. Just spam zooting loaf. Just spam zooting loaf. I, I I didn't think as far ahead. I was distracted. Have a good evening. <laughs>